you so much. Yep, actual Justice Warrior. Are you Warrior. guys ready? For oh, the it's Hippie time. Dippy Championship Rumble. Here we are. Running off with seven contestants as this thing goes through. I'll explain the rules. I'm going to unmute so everybody can hear me. I have to turn off the sound for now. God damn it. Why does it need to sit in the box? Uh, because if it ships, it will be in a very different temperature and you want it to acclimate slowly. So you want to sit it in the box for 24 hours so that it acclimates slowly and then you take it out. I know it sucks, but it's good. I didn't do that with mine and it, it warped the streams, the strings a little bit. We'll be challenging for the title next Friday. I can't listen to this because I'm on YouTube, but don't worry. We'll get in soon. This is just the introduction. God, Dylan, can't play that fucking shit. Stars like Actual Jake, Denim, CTV, Christy Winters, Prime Cast, There's me. Spoon -spoon. Nation, Demon Mama, Actual Justice Warrior, and I, Hypocrite. There's me. Released today, one is a TikToker. One I, Hypocrite. Twitch streamer. That's right. You know YouTuber. it. You know this is going to be fucking wild as shit, everybody. Yeah, I, Hypocrite is in. This is going to be wild. Higher than we have before, and of course, the hype is. Uh oh, Christy Winters. Oh God, does Christy Winters stream on a snowball? I shouldn't judge, but snowball? Why would you use a fucking blue snowball? No. To the next person. Yeah, probably. Hi, I'm Actual Jake. You can find me at Actual go. Jake on Twitch. It begins. And we talk politics, and sometimes chat makes me wear a corn suit. That's it. Wonderful. Corn Jake. Now I'm going to actually introduce Phil KOE, who's currently muted on Whereby. Hooray! Welcome, everyone. My name is Phil KOE, the winner of the first ever Dylan Burns Royal Rumble. I'm better and you like can this. find me at KOE Nation on Twitch and YouTube, and it is a pleasure to be with all you beautiful Oh, God, people. he's turning red. Thank you very much. Throwing it over to Denims. Oh. Denims is muted. Throwing it over to Critically Thinking Veteran. Critically Thinking Veteran is muted. Throwing it over to Christy Winters. Hi, I'm Christy Winters, and if you know me, it's probably because I make some YouTube videos. You can check it out on my channel. I do a Sunday live show for an hour. This is a good start. Done. Put it over to Prime Kai's. Mm. Hello, my name is Prime mm -hmm. Kai. I um, uh, run a panel show, um, similar, but not quite as good as uh, Hippie Dippy. Um, come over and check it out. Wonderful. Throwing it over to Sean, who is muted on Whereby. Oh, I'm Sean. You find me at Actual Justice Warrior on YouTube, and like I'm on Twitter somewhere. No. Wonderful. He's on Twitter somewhere. Now over to CTV. This is. Lame. Hey, this is your man, critically thinking veteran, coming in from the Wolf's Den. I uh, run the Wolf Pack over here. We have a great group of people. Feel free to come find us on the channel, uh, Twitch.tv forward slash critically thinking veteran. Okay. That is and Actual Justice Warrior. Yes, it is. Uh, I have the wrong mic set up. So do you hear me now? I hear you now. Okay, great. Yes, I'm Denims. Oh. I run a stream. I talk about politics. I'm a sock dem. That's it. Wonderful. Let me quickly lay down the rules. Every once in a while, a round will end. And when that round ends, we will post a poll in chat. And that poll in chat will decide who gets to stay. You hear? And who gets to go. One person will be booted out, and another person will come to replace them. Listen. This will happen in, after, through 12 different people. Once it's all done, there'll be one person left. And whoever that one person is will be the person challenging for the title next Friday. For rules about uh, conduct, don't violate anything that is against terms of service on either YouTube or Twitch. If you do, it could get either me or the person I'm partnering nope, with Nope, it's on Dylan's channel debates, on Twitch. James, so you're going to have to hop pop uh, over there down, to vote. both not to like I'll to lose our second. jobs and homes. So please don't make us homeless. Other than that, uh, if you are having a hard time getting into a discussion because it's too hectic, you can raise your hand. I'll try to write your name down. I'll try to bring it over to you eventually. But Welcome. this is a hectic event. Holy this is a moly. Rumble with Rumble in the name. Welcome, all raiders from the surfs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name, hold on a second. We're going to pop over here real quick. Welcome. My name is Demon Mama. Yes, that Demon Mama. The one you've heard of. The rising, exploding power of hell. And tonight, I am going to be appearing as a guest on the Hippy Dippy Rumble. Now, 
I am not in until a little bit later. So I will be commentating on the debate so far. So come on in, get comfy. I usually will be streaming on YouTube and on my website, which you can see up here, demonmama.com forward slash live, where you can get all of my super unique emotes. They are free to everyone. And you can support me. So if you want to catch my streams, I am now dual streaming on Twitch and YouTube. But the real way is to join the Discord. Discord.gg forward slash demonmama or follow the link on my website. I know this is a pitch, but I'm promising you, you're going to have a good time tonight. So get comfy. Stick around. It's going to be an amazing, amazing night. And you can catch all my stuff, all my updates on the Discord. Our Discord is truly amazing. We're, we're on the way to partnership with Discord because our Discord is so cool. We have creative channels where people teach you how to do art. We have active voice channels. We have politics channels. We got live stream chats. It's incredible. Thank you for being here. And thank you, the Surfs, for coming in. Um, my eyes are not going to be as much on Twitch chat just because uh, I'm going to be focusing on this. However, I'll do my best. So thank you all for being here. Happy to have you. And please consider shooting me a follow because I know you're going to have a good time. Whoops. Let's get back into it. Whoa, whoa. The Senate works. You're talking to someone who puts the, the fill in filibuster here. So I must say, yes. this is the last <laughs> mechanism that we you, have. You put in the busted Congress. in frame rate yes. too. But no, <laughs> Jesus a, Christ, oh, my guy. I'm done. My I know this ain't coming from the guy wearing a corn hat, right? I mean, I know yes, yes. That took like two seconds, wolf back guy. <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Hey, Bill, Top gun hat. Phil only <laughs> needs 10 frames per second. Kick your ass, bro. Oh, oh, right. oh yes. Thank over. you. Thank you. I'm it's finally good over to there. finally meet you in open battle, sir. It's marvelous. <laughs> oh, but I will God. say, the filibuster, there is no other mechanism that forces compromise between both sides of the aisle. Once Have you considered gone, Republicans having a good left. argument there once? There is nothing <laughs> left. No, like, like, wait, 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 hold on, wait. No, 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 this Once is already hog votes, wild. All you will I'm turning it down. Don't worry. I didn't know it was going to get this loud this fast. And this is ridiculous. Sacred cows they shall, folks. We're <laughs> talking about things like, well, it could affect the right on gun control now. But what happens when the shoe's oh on the other God. foot? What are you going to do when you make that trap This is a perfect example for a question. Thank you. This is the problem with our democracy. It keeps us from actually having these the discussions that we need, right? One person simply takes up all the time, right? Puts a roadblock in the way of uh, actual legislation. Yeah. What are you going to do when the shoe's done, on right? the other foot? So, like, why don't we try to do it? Why don't we try to do it? Why don't we try to do it? Go ahead. This is a topic that I do care about and know about. So here's the case. We don't have to have an either or. With no it's the filibuster. filibuster. They're because arguing over the filibuster. filibuster. Okay, I told you tonight was going to be wild. This is why you want to be here. You don't want to miss my stream. A chance to air I'm promising you. To a bill. That's fine. And there should be some power within now, the remember, minority in terms of when the votes come, but we're going to post a link and you got to go vote in Dylan's chat. Okay? Ridiculous. However, when the time comes, the only time I'll ever ask you to brigade. Back to a talking filibuster than it would be to end it. So tactically and politically, talking filibuster is our first step. You do that and then we can have a conversation about the rest of it. So I yeah, make an excellent I absolutely point agree because then Bill Kelly would have to be elected to the Senate because I can talk to the bus it makes hours. a lot of sense. So talking to the bus it makes a lot of sense. If you see from Phil Kelly's oh, uh nice. work right here, it mm -hmm. actually it's actually effective tactic. Um I can see that, but like we have to have still uh, you, rules in place. Even this is where that. you vote. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. When voting time comes like, it's right here. Is, for instance, like I will post it in both chats when it's time. Buster. That's and where you will like vote. But you want to watch here so you can get my uh, commentary. Uh, I, that would be my you know opinion it. on that, but we have to limit uh, the impact of the filibuster. Yeah, I mean, they said talking Senate Don't you filibuster worry, Hexagram. Would, you'd have to get up there and do filibuster. the speaking. We've seen, yeah. we saw in Texas where uh, a woman rep who was trying to stop abortion, um, attacks on abortion uh, yeah. going through, did it, right? Actually, That's fine. interestingly, um, hella WTC, abolishing the Senate isn't a bad idea. The political event is. But I could talk about that later. A bill that 75% of the people want or 80% of the people want because 40 senators say no, that's not democracy. That's you not democracy. Right. 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 Right.
So if you're saying we oh, need you to have get no rid idea how pog this is going to be. There are so many people on this sense. panel, including also, me. On top of that, when my time there comes, there are plenty of procedural things in our constitution that require a greater than majority vote. You need a two thirds majority to ratify treaties, two thirds majority to declare war. All of this is because just our government is specifically just started, everybody. designed not to be a democracy. It's specifically designed not to be subject to the whims of the majority. So the the filibuster. Don't the worry, I'm watching as many chats like, oh, as I can well, and actual this justice warrior. Yep. Of people want a certain bill. Well, that's not what the Senate is designed for. It's specifically designed to address that. That's why there's no. But on the other side of that, it's not. 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 Your reasons for getting rid of the Senate filibuster are more of a justification of getting rid of the Senate than the procedural yes. thing that makes the Senate function. Let's get rid of the Senate. I would agree. But no, uh, the, the problem is, like, no, you're uh, absolutely correct, yeah, Ron. You're absolutely correct when you say that uh, the, we have things within our uh, government right, that are designed for a uh, larger than a simple majority. You're absolutely correct, right? But it wasn't, filibuster wasn't one of those things, right? That was that added in later. And then beyond yeah, that, rule. Yeah, right. And I'm glad that you brought that up. Because oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm so excited for this. I want blood so bad. Tyranny of the, major, tyranny, the tyranny of the minority. That's exactly what's happening mm -hmm. here uh, with right, the, the, the tyranny of the minority. So uh, I understand that. Like, but the problem is, it's it's taken over to the point where um, to do simple business, the simple business. <laughs> I'm of so ready. Simply cannot get done. Right, right? because it happened under uh, Obama, to uh, Trump, it and now it's going to happen under Biden. I actually like to get something done in this country. Go yeah. ahead, CTV. Well, then start understanding civics and start there. Right, and you're, you're right. To begin with, Thanks, it, the buddy. filibuster wasn't supposed to be what it has become today. But the reason why is because a lot of this federalization, the centralization. Oh, you of know I'm going to Ellison. You know I'm going to come in here and crunch them. From the fucking start. So then, when you start passing. Legislation we thrive in level. chaos. Hey, Chris, I am the pit fighter. I am the pit fighter of pit fighters. I'm already... talking about any hypothetical bill. Yeah, you say 75 to 80 percent, but the reality is that 60 like gun percent, control, 60 votes was gun control, needed. That's 60 um, fucking percent, right? So, Jeez, so 60 oh god, he's so, he's so mad already. He's so mad already. We're talking about very popular bills that are being. All the bloods already going. Say when you go down to 80, he would have more than 60. What are you doing? Are you kidding? 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 Thank you for the sub, I, Glam I, Pixie. Happy to have you. Way faster, hand <laughs> uh, so uh, it, it, it's interesting to me CTV that lost uh, you'd it. be like, ah, the tyranny of the majority. Ah, considering how uh, you guys uh, Hawk, like to if I recall correctly, yes. in general, which is the it's reason that show. filibustering yeah, you know it. is even a problem because you know we, it. We, we we have an entire system. Look at Georgia recently. Georgia flips blue. You guys freak out, and instead of just like get this maybe just being appealing to a bunch of people a bunch of people maybe being more popular having good opinions instead you just try to like like weasel your fucking way like little tiny snaky slugs and try i to get, don't know to start more, us. a good question or, not more votes fewer fewer black votes i have a feeling real. Funny, fewer minority fun fact, votes in i general. actually think ctv were, will last hey, on don't here nod, don't fucking wolf pack your head at me boy if you if you were for if you were for if you were for no 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 i'm not if you were for if you were for if you, 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 if you were interested in having modern day debates is a mod. Modern day debates is a mod. I'm just covering up because he's just a mod. You would allow everybody, because of course you are the party of freedom, to let everybody. That was that was a hard boy. In the easiest possible way, with 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 shade, with water. No, you fucking don't. You want everybody to vote for the fucking idea? You can't let them have water in line. You got to make sure that they. Integrity in elections is important. Stop. Okay, we're doing it over Venoms. We have one minute. This is. I told uh, you this is going to no be a Dennis. Friday night show. Yeah, first of all, Prime is not a mod tonight. Points. First of all, Prime is competing. We're failing to recognize that a majority in the Senate is not equivalent to a majority of the American population. The majority of the American population is, for example, in favor of legalizing weed. We can barely get a couple of senators who are just like, for yeah, no. I agree. So I hypocrite is going to be here later. I to do with hypocrite the in, Senate, in the Senate. And me. Second of all, it's so funny that conservatives are always complaining about how the government can never get just anything done. Just be ready. Done, it's going to be so good. You know this is going to be good. You just wait till I come in. Done, True. Like filibustering.
By the way, base I, denim. I my time. And that's where a lot of these issues should have been kept at state levels, but because there's been a push ever since the introduction of the 14th Amendment into the Constitution. You think we should have kept slavery right? at the state is, level? Is why the just question is further the way that it is, right? Just to be honest, are you not understanding history? That's why the 14th Amendment not only introduced no trying and the federalization, but it also introduced the voting rights, and then we had to have the amendment in order to I don't even know what it is. But he's saying, oh, okay. what? this I mean, is wild. Conclude. Ah, give me, give me a second. So that round was fast, wasn't it? That was the 10 second round. The rest will be 20 from now on. This one was the weed out the week. Okay, the week <laughs> among you who can't deal with this. Okay, wild. So there is a poll in chat. Fucking Everybody can go wild this, shit. Post it their own communities, post it wherever, and see who can win this. Okay. Well, the honestly, honestly, okay. I gotta so. say, my neighbors are already paying, banging on the floors because. <laughs> Real quick, just so you know, this is the t when this sort of call comes out is when you go vote. So go vote now. When you hear that sort of call, uh, go yeah, vote. I, I just I accidentally closed the your chat. So you're throwing yeah. yourself over the top rope and wow. Ah. Oh. Wow. You know what, Can Christy? You the I, there you I go. There's the link. It, There's the link. I can't be real. It was a pleasure meeting you. So it's we're voting who to keep. Wait. Correct, right. Yes, who to keep. Not, no. Mm. I Which keep... is obviously Phil KOE. Come on, well, yeah. you know uh, right Phil's thing. amazing. I like Phil a lot. So I'm oh, thank you. Thank Wait, you. is Christy leaving guy. early? And, uh, oh, that's so in lame. The interim, if I may, there was something I couldn't get in at the beginning, but folks, I think I need to say it here. Since we are at a Royal Rumble, are you ready, folks? We are here at the Dylan Burns Hippy Dippy Podcast. Like this yeah. is Royal this is Rumble. This is messing so up the, the, the spacing looks, of the show if we're already if we're doing the intro. Anyone else having trouble? It, it looks it. like it. it looks like the poll's broken. By the way, yeah, let's get ready to rumble. The poll's broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like the poll's okay. broken. Nobody okay, okay. Can get in. I have okay. to get that in. Okay. Try, try, try don't worry. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> Doesn't matter because Christy has thrown herself over the top rope. Okay, so it's a link. Okay, I'm, ha I'm happy to have happy to have you. Oh my god! Of you do it in a reasonable hour. Yeah, it'd be great. But yeah, okay. you have a nice day, nice Christy. Stuff. Thanks for coming on. Good to see you. Wow! Didn't even get to do the don't didn't even get to do the ending. Hunter Avalon has entered. Hunter Avalon enters Cameron. the fight. Get ready, everybody! Uh, but the next round, which is going to be 20 minutes, is on the idea of big tech censorship. The idea that big tech is either censoring conservatives liberals etc this topic will be going on for 40 minutes so don't worry if you didn't get to speak on the last topic that won't be the same going forward just needed to weed out the week at the beginning youtube is link star okay. okay yeah Hunter, we're gonna have to have uh, the link broke uh, i'm link. working on it i apologize no problem but you all may begin you have about 20 minutes so what's the, what's, the, what's the subject again uh, big tech, big tech and and okay yeah um big tech uh, has had a uh uh, big tech at first was uh, very what well loved the within uh, the general society, general our general community, um, especially among liberals. Right, we used to love the possibility that big tech could provide us, and still, like technology can provide, can do so many things. It connected us in so many uh, different ways, right? But the problem oh, is, oh, don't worry, Pain Summit, it's going to get better. Because there's so many. The uh, intro is meant to be bloody. Don't you really worry. Really then the fact that you were censored on any individual platform would have a Thank impact, you for the right? sub, but Tim YouTube Caucus. Is Happy to have you. When it comes to video, right? Twitch is the big thing when it comes to streaming Welcome specifically, back. right? And if you're censored on these individual platforms, it's like Facebook or whatever, right? Um, just by a few, a handful of individuals can decide they want you gone and you're gone. That's it. You're done, right? And you It's know, meant to weed out the weed, and yes. On the left, like me, Who am I betting on from this round? aren't really actually progressive. I mean, they'll, they'll make the signals, right? They'll do the, um... the black squares for Black Lives Matter or something like that. But beyond that, when you actually see their practices, they fail every single time. Of course, so, um, exactly. I, I say that it's that, a good move. Um, to handle big tech and such. Yeah, you one know what? I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna do, say uh, this one. Maybe either, either this round up or encourage more. Uh, entry CTV to and denims are gonna stick through. Wonderful. Uh, next, we're gonna go to actual Jay. Yeah, um, I like how usually the right likes to likes to whine about this, and they're like, ah, oh, oh, we're getting we're getting uh, uh, banned because I can't say insensitive things about asian yep. people or i can't make gay jokes about about you know i don't i forget that guy carlos maza or something and they're like ah we can't do it 
But really, you're bitching about capitalism, and you don't even realize it. it. You've allowed these people to run rampant and have control over all these things. And then when it happens to you, do you know what I hear from right-wing people? We should start a public square, a public government-funded Twitter. (laughs) You guys are such fucking hypocrites all the time. Are you absolutely serious right now? Well, this already is publicly funded with the bandwidth that it consumes that's all taxpayers subsidized. We basically do. like. Oh, okay. Then I guess we're going to make Bitcoin public, bro. It's a completely free market. We're going by bandwidth hold on i'll get the info for you i'll get the info for you don't you worry did you say words that make... amount of <laughs> give me a second i'll get you all the info subsidized bandwidth you're just you're just those those weren't words Sorry, that made man, sense those, <laughs> those were those were okay. just things that you okay, said aloud no, those, okay no that's actually <laughs> true go look it up folks uh, the bandwidth no, I mean, that these like, big tech companies use yeah. it's all taxpayers subsidized so for them okay. to call themselves free market is more than a okay little so cute. then are you for or against wait, 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 hold on, no, no, no. are you for or against free th- no, no, no. Are you against? Are, are, are you? Do you and agree that Putin should? Do you agree, Phil? <laughs> hey, just yelling like Alex you, Jones isn't going to do anything. Okay, I'm okay, immune okay, to you. Okay, okay. So let's you be are, clear. You, Let's not yell to get our points yeah. over other people. Yeah, that's, that's just more well, fun here. Right, well, well, you know, it's, 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 it's personality, though. Hey, the best, we don't need well, to hear the truth. Oh, oh my God. That's bothering me. Uh, what was that Come back. Come back. See, we end up I am low here. So, uh, you were uh, right, right next to me. Well, well, you in your judgment. So, Phil, what I think you were trying to say, right? And you can correct me if I'm wrong. Give me one quick uh, second here. I'm going to request a... Uh, funded, right? Um, and so, maybe one they should treat like here. utilities, right? Or maybe um, uh, well, there, there are platforms that, platform. that become public forums, not simply uh, private platforms. And then should it's be a judge to be run in that. Wait, okay, let's... MCI... Come on. Uh, that's really old. <laughs> I did date myself a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit there. But yeah, yeah. So is that is that what you're trying to say? Is that in, uh, uh, instead of treating these as the public? Uh, sorry. A All right. Sorry about that. I needed to get um, an airdrop new drinky. I'm, I'm begging, they, begging my partner Fawn to come counts, deliver me a drink. Um, and that, I'm so uh, thirsty. That should not be no, that Vosh is watching. We, whoever wins this to gets to challenge Vosh for the belt. These awful opinions that are being damned off the internet. Their tax dollars help build the internet too now strangely enough poland actually introduced a very good law i want you to hear this out uh that i actually like it just i don't, I don't so know if endernax is on we'll see uh, i know i know actual jake when you see yourself on the photo they're like god i'm wearing cord i'm so silly i, I would laugh too you but want my bank anyway, account when uh please I'll this is a this is a uh, this is a this is a lucrative corn for some reason they fucking love it <laughs> it wasn't weird. my choice okay we'll find out right, hexagram so we'll the conversation in the more yeah guys why don't okay 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 why don't we start about let's slow it down okay, 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 everybody go wait 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 it's an imaginary speech any more than the guy in this conversation okay give me a second my guess, one of the surprise clear, guests, I think, forward, is going to be Destiny, speaking, but I'm not 100% sure. Percent. I don't know. I actually don't right. know the guess. Now, that's just that's just my guess. Literally, we don't know. The the, the attendees yeah. don't know the guests. Can everyone see Hunter? I don't, I don't no. see the camera is not on. No, it is not. No, I agree. I disagree with Vosh on a couple times. I'm so confused. How cannot see you. Your camera is probably being used by another. It's big tech censorship, obviously. That's there you go. So actual Jake, you oh, were maybe it isn't Destiny then. You yeah, had your after me. hand raised. I'll throw it back over to you once you get your camera fixed. Actual okay. Jake. Oh really? Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, well, he talked about subsidies. Could be Xander. Lots, lots of taxes. Or Could something. be Blair White. Who knows? It's I doubt it would be Blair White though. Which is weird because I know right wingers don't want felons to be able to vote because I they do pay taxes as well. So I that's think okay. they should. But beyond well, that, that's beyond that, 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 I want to hear him. I want to hear him talk. Beyond that, the the specific Contra would be unbelievable. Interesting and also kind of dumb if you want oh he doesn't really have a thing is that true right status guy here. wearing a corn hat got it yes it is dumb and oh I if it's rgr it's that'd weird. be hilarious you know what this was all okay. this I is brain sexy, i would love it if brain brain was on here anyway i told anyway, you hot take so, cop and um, guess what my coverage going of it is going to be even better because when i go on you're going to get to watch my stream live so as you as you <laughs> You're the running Don't let them throw you off. Okay. Don't let them throw it's going to be as fucking you, amazing. As you, as you, yeah, as you said, so subsidies. Um, um, it's very interesting. Yeah, to say Contra that, doesn't like also debating. believe that because, like, food, for instance, I'm is pretty sure it's going to be RGR. Well, it market. could be RGR. So I'm not pretty sure. sure. That, that food prices My guess was Destiny. RGR is a possible uh, ability. Populace. Do you believe that food should be uh, uh, freely given to anyone that needs it? Uh, and, and hunger should be eradicated in the United States. Just Sargon might be one of heavily them. Subsidized the what food time market? am I going I, on? I I'm going on agree, two Tom rounds Ryan. from now. I would now. love for that to be the so, case. I've actually, uh, about like, 45 it minutes. It is a tragedy that there's so many hungry people. I've actually volunteered. At well, a she might be a secret guest, Laura. Uh, before, just because it might be Sargon. It, it might be Sargon. 
that we have a state that, you know, when you can make so much food, there should not be people that are hungry. Yeah, it could be Sargon. And so, yes, I do I do donate to those types of Good. things. Good. Vosh isn't on here, though. Vosh I've isn't ceased, on this uh, panel. Uh, charitable giving for the time being for different reasons, and I'll get into that later. But, uh, yes, I do agree. Uh, Fuentes can't be on, all, on uh, Twitch. Hungry, you absolutely should. There's I'm Avalon. We got Hunter. Actually. And, uh, yes, that was my I, grandpappy. God bless him. God bless him. Yeah, Salt to the earth, now. folks. They all Finally. Fall. I don't know what the well, hell is wrong with we, that. Welcome to the show, Hunter Avalon. Welcome. Hunter Avalon. Do ever, I'm okay. sorry. I was looking at my recording software. So I it didn't is true. See who said that. that was, I'm that covering. Okay, so Sean was raising their hand before. So modern day debates. Uh, because Hunter, he's just Hunter moderating. He's a backup moderator. Yeah, I so I mean, it's, it's okay. It's pretty weird for us to start a debate on tech censorship without defining our terms. It's like if you're talking about whether or not. Is the commands broken? The issue with big tech is that they're suppressing certain ideological viewpoints. I think that's not arguable. I'll explain again. Real quick. Here's how it works. Every people, round, somebody get every time the timer runs out, somebody gets voted off and somebody else comes on. And they're not equivalent, but whether or not And then the at the very end, there's a, there's will be eight people like left that's, that's at the end and they go against each other getting voted off one by one by one until one person is remaining. They are operating under unlimited liability protection based on the concept that they cannot regulate the content on their platform, which is why they asked for that carve out in section 230. However, they are regulating content uh, on their platform. Because his camera They're wasn't working. They do have the and Christy Winters left now. early. So she wasn't we supposed be to leave early. providing them with an unfair advantage over, let's say, the New York Times, who's responsible for the content. This that is a slobber knocker. Compared to um, like big tech. He might. Like the he might. Post draws he might. In a lot we'll of see. people, bloggers. This is how their old model used to work. And they all used to contribute to their platform. But the Huffington Post, since it was a media outlet, was responsible for anything libelous or slanderless that they published. But big tech is not responsible in the same way. Why Even the fuck wouldn't she just use headphones? That's favorites. what I was wondering. Why not use headphones? I think she just was finding an excuse. Content, all right, there's like, the voting oh, for this round. This, really? Is this the one? Be held Hold on, let me see. Any of the things like any other company who acts in similar manners. That's the, the issue I have with big tech censorship. Well, I. So are you asking for more? Censorship well, I'm asking and, for, no, no, I'm asking for what, like, the, there's delineations in the conversation. Oh, you know I'm going to do like, good, George. You know I'm going to kill this. On, like, oh, you don't believe in freedom and blah, blah, blah. It's not that mm. I don't believe private companies should be able to do whatever they want. Mm. It's that I believe in equal um, application of the law and certain okay. companies acting. It, it's not law. It's policy. It's their ability. Li uh, liability protections. This is so have. silly. I didn't say you weren't for freedom. I said you <clears throat> claim to be the party of freedom. And then when it comes to it, you fail. So effectively the same thing. <laughs> true, so actual Jake. Because true. Uh, no. Yes. Because basically everything oh, yeah. that uh, without a difference. Yeah, just everything here that Slippery uh, Sean just said is just completely wrong, and also based on like huge presuppositions. It's really, really embarrassing. Um, basically, <laughs> I mean, where where do we want to start? First of all, you say there's clear evidence that this is happening. Blah blah blah. No, okay. No, there's not actually. Here, I'll if copy this poll and, and we'll we'll post it because, when it's time. Uh, the countless different research that has been done on this subject, you will see that it's there's actually an overwhelming consensus that conservative content thrives on virtually every social media platform. Now, am I saying conservatives are never banned on social media? Absolutely not. Conservatives. Donald absolutely... Trump was censored on election night, dude. Like, I'm sorry. Yes, like, it's, conservatives. It's, 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 one way. Feel a way. He was inciting violence. Can I? That's why he was censored. Election night? No, he was. He said he didn't think he lost. I would like to hear him finish. Just going up, yo, Phil. Chill, buddy. I, I know you got the alcohol there. Maybe you should take a little break on that. Um, oh, this is come listen. on. Oh! 21, sir. It must be sipped listen. and enjoyed. You don't knock it back. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh my but, God! But yeah, also with Section 230, there's a big mis misunderstanding here with the platform versus publisher talk. Publishers verify every Damn, single Avalon's, thing. Damn, Avalon's publish. got some spitting the New some York Times anger. Verifies. They check everything that goes out, and then they say, "Yes, I verify that, or I'm I approve of that." It can now be published. I need a That Saudi. constitutes a publisher. <laughs> platforms are Think allowed Fawn to. Is sleeping. Platform. I'll go get Just one in that. a second. They're allowed to platform I'm speech. such a whiny and bitch. I'm actually, I know, obviously, it sounds a little naive there. I'm sorry. But um, I'm reading here from Cato oh, Institute, which kind okay. of gives a much better. I have a cup like, already. Unders, if you want to just uh, come get the cup. Thank you, Fawn. Thank you, Fawn. Section 230 I love does you. not state Thank that you. the act of moderating content oh. makes an interactive computer service. Censoring Trump might have helped Trump. I don't know. If Section it did. 230 merely states that an interactive computer service. It's hard. To, that's really hard to tell. Third party content and is free to moderate content. Hey. So 
they use no, so them Say using hi, everybody. section 230 million protections viewers today. We got 600 to viewers right now. Moderate their That's platform. That's Fawn. For those of you who don't know, Fawn is their legal rights and time and time <laughs> Fawn again, is one of my partners. This has been voted on even Kavanaugh. We love Fawn. Fawn also does uh, a bunch of our emotes. That so if you like my cool emotes, like this one and this one make that and this one platform and this one of the state and this one that is not these were all then, done uh, like, by Fawn in the um, Twitch held chat. To freedom of speech standards necessarily. So, is there a conversation is real. we had about big tech having way too much power right now? One hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. Now you see Jessica. Is Metal. there something we need to be like talk about about she corporate here. power and everything else? Absolutely. But this idea that conservatives are being censored is just not true. Out of any day, everybody. But they, those really of you are watching right now, you know you came okay. here for an awesome aware, show. Make sure you hit the subscribe uh, button on YouTube on, really and ring the bell. Like, are you not aware of that? Or on Twitch, follow. Like that when it's Stephen Crowder. Thank you, Mr. Gates. Why can't I say it? What I tell Okay, right, hold on. Right. So the reality. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I, I was very clear that when I talk, nobody else talks. So, okay, who wants to talk? Me. I do. <laughs> Six hundred. I'm gonna throw it over to Denim because Denim hasn't have a time to talk yet. Then it'll be CTV. Stephen Crowder was banned or temporarily point. suspended right? or whatever because he's been spreading spreading COVID misinformation. They, he has a video on global warming where he points. Oh, at, like, you know this is this gonna be one good. One area where the ice sheets are actually expanding. Meanwhile, we're losing fucking tons everywhere else. His entire channel is concerned trolling about things that don't matter, making racist jokes, dressing up to pretend to be trans and work out at a gym. You might be or right, Sol. No one gives I don't know. A shit. It's hard to say. We're literally, everyone at the gym is like. Okay. Okay. Whatever you want, buddy. Whatever. Sure. Just can you stop dropping the weights so loudly? That's all we're asking. You can lift whatever you want. I don't care. CTV's like, done for. Like, oh shit. Fucking garbage. But he was banned because of his pure misinformation. That's why he was banned. Maybe if no, conservatives wouldn't. could stop lying or getting things wrong all the time, they wouldn't be banned. Oh, off of I would simply. Be oh, correct. AJW. That's AJW. Right. Exactly. Right. I would. Yeah, AJW is well, a that's... snore. Right. So here's the oh, reality. That's a little bit of a AJW. Low energy. Right? No, that's not what I'm saying. We no. have this clear example, so right? Nobody. Whoa, no, no, we energy. have this clear example <laughs> where, where we have first. Stephen Crowder. You know what? You know, can right? I just say really quickly? Yeah, yeah. First, first thing, we'll say, first say thing we'll go over to you, I, Hunter. Well, just, yeah, CTV say then you can go straight to Hunter, okay? We still have I'm so hyped for this. CTV then Hunter. Yeah. So like, geez, Hunter, oh, I got some stuff up my energy. pocket. Rubik's fan. Right? Take a pill of your own fucking medicine. So we'll start from there, right? Now. Steven I press period. Right. There you go. Shut your fucking mouth when an adult is speaking, young man. Right? Let's start <laughs> there because you were already told by the fucking sir, moderator. Yes, so sir. apparently now I have to yes, fucking sir. tell you. I'm sorry. So I'm that being now. said, the Attention. reason why Stephen Crowder was fucking banned had everything to do with <laughs> oh what my he said God. specifically Very, in his video, right? Which was <clears throat> that he went to address <laughs> zero and showed people that. True more porn. True. That's why he was banned off the platform because he's been doing that <laughs> same content that Dennis nice, been Lonnie. talking about for his whole fucking career. I can't tell you right? so what I think because that would be, be me. I think you're both when he was really hot. My mind, okay. Shows how seriously. Much you about his I mean that. Anyway. Like right? seriously, right. no creepy, yeah. no creepy, wait, wait, just wait, you wait, are. Wait. I said it was Hunter. Because what's real, I just, I just want to point out. I know this is kind of an ad hom attack, and I will address what you said. But as soon as I saw that there was a guy in here named Critically Thinking Veteran, I thought to myself, <laughs> I guarantee you, this guy is not gonna have any critical thinking at all. Three red and flags in one I name. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll mute them for now. Instantly, I'm right. Okay, maybe the. Let me know when you plan on starting. Hold on, Hunter. wait. Let me respond yeah. here. Okay. Wait, what? I, 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 wait, I'm what? sorry. Oh. <laughs> Oh, soldier, you're well, a, oh, that's at ease, soldier. Works, right? At ease. Okay. At that's how, that's okay. how trying to respond. Okay, 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 okay. okay. And okay. You, let let and you don't even know what the let fuck the name wait, wait, is, Paul. Wait, 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 I'm speaking. Okay. I I love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love bias towards Stephen Crowder. I love the best. Right. If you want to look at an overwhelmed like at statistical analysis you'll the see right that is no just infighting it's so good bias. it's there's so no good the right is just tearing strips out of each other i love it that's what we're arguing about by the way here. this not, is again, not a reflective no of the fucking republican party right now or the fucking trump and non-trump conservative party is fucking nuts 
Hold on, stop. We don't care it, about the individuals. It's about ideas being disappeared off the internet and that nobody should be able to ideas decide. She's not white. Yeah, she's, she's, she's uh, 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 Hispanic. Is she or Latin? Latino? Latino? Oh, it's going to be so good when I hypocrite this year. Right now. Slow down, slow down. Phil KOE might lose it. She's Moroccan. I didn't know that. That's super cool. I didn't know she was Moroccan. I thought, for some reason, I thought she said she spoke Spanish. My bad. That's amazing. All I was going to say is, I understand that some conservatives haven't always been treated fairly by big tech. We can dispute the details so of what cool. happened. So cool! Thank you for Crowder. filling me if in on that. That's so awesome. Violated TOS by spreading uh, election misinfo and whatnot. Denim's is pog. I had really, I had a really long conversation with Denim's once, like two hours, just in private. There no we were just chatting. It was so awesome. It was such a good combo. Google search results with YouTube, and that conservatives dominate Facebook and Twitter. So that's kind of my argument there, that there's no systemic like it's, bias it's here. It's the exact opposite, right? When we've seen the uh, the YouTube algorithm, for instance, right? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Use Python, that red. Like, it, like um, the, the conservatives have done a good job working these these algorithms. Yeah, um, so that Doesn't he look like multiple, fucking Chris uh, Farley? Between them okay. So that it will uh, okay. Everybody, clarification, you, real quick. On, um, to one video clarification. The votes are keep, not kick. You vote for who you want to keep. So I want you all voting for me when it's time. Um, and then like they leave the autoplay on and then hours So one later, time right, I'll ask you. Fucking Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro. Never, like, never like, again uh, will I ask you to brigade, uh, YouTube, but like this. Um, and other uh, companies. For like this, Sean yes. God forbid, Sean. Are, are yeah, yeah, the, 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 uh, they are free yeah, actually, rock um, bottom. because, um, because, uh, conservatives cry so much, they cry and they whine. The AJW has right? a big following. And so, uh, anytime one of them does get, uh, All right, who's Eric the person that's best to, to banned, decide for right? you? All right, here's the link to the vote. Who's that person? Banned. Vote incoming soon. Vote incoming soon. Here we go. Vote incoming there. Okay, okay. Actual Jake, then Sean. Okay. okay. All right. Well, who's to decide the companies that determine the TOS? Pretty easy not to slur. Oh, that's um, great. So you want them to decide for you what's fit for you to read on folks? their platform? You heard it if you think first. Really if you want it here, if you want to take, Jake if, wants people to decide well, I, for okay, you what's true. Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, take hey, buddy. take less brain force. Calm yourself, down. Folks. There needs to be a situation where you shut the fuck up and let me talk. Wait. Okay. Let's get conformity. This is what you feel about you get. Dumb shit right Jake Denim's so, Hunter. So, wow. Yes, you they're showed up in a corn suit. You're talking about dumb shit. Okay, I can't so believe I make you so bad. insecure. <laughs> Imagine not being able to be glorious like this, you fucking child. Okay. Are, Are you kidding me? I can't believe okay, it. Guys, I, guys, I, guys, there's right, there's no it. reason oh, I should God. be less yeah, cringe yeah, than yeah. you on screen. There's no reason. I'm a corn cob. But yet you persist. <laughs> it's incredible. I respect it. it. No, Moving no. on to the point. No, no. To the, point <gasps> the actual point. Yeah, well, I got interrupted four times. I know. So the actual Don't point is uh, five times. The actual point is if if you if you want it public, that's fine. You can do that. Then then the, the, the terms of service would be the constitution. Fine with that, but then it's a big government thing. You guys can quabble quibble about that. That's totally fine. But as far as like as far as like like worrying about who who like what Steven Crowder does and who's getting banned and shit. Don't break terms of service on these ser these places. Yeah, that already exactly. Exist. It's very easy not to say the n word. I agree. And not to be it is easy to not global say global the n word. It's not an opinion. You're not making it is opinions. True. You're no. just no. lying I'm because sorry. it makes you money on the internet. On you fool. Right okay. 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 Quickly, we're gonna have Vermin. Sean welcome to the and show. And the results. The results are in. Sean, go quickly. Okay. We'll, we'll talking about how conservatives right, grow faster online. The results are in. Censorship of conservatives on social media. That's the reason for the censorship. That's why mainstream outlets are calling for greater crackdowns on what they call conspiracy theories on all these platforms. A perfect example of a policy that has a left-leaning bias would be Twitter's misgendering policy. That is fully in line with one side of the political spectrum's view on gender and against the conservative view on gender. Couldn't you say the same thing? You're, you're just wrong. Or, wait, 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 wait. I said, I, okay, 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 okay. Is anybody else here named Sean? Am I I'm unaware of that? Sean, continue. Sorry. Yeah. So there are policies built in. A perfect example of this, again, is something I saw yesterday. You can get banned for COVID misinformation. There was a story that broke yeah. yesterday that is complete and utter misinformation about Ron DeSantis under. I wish, but I can't uh, do any more because I'm a part of this. By all these I can't chaos stream because I'm a part of this. Another case of that. But if you read the actual article, the CDC person who covers these statistics related to excess deaths 
says clearly and unambiguously there is nothing at odds with Florida's death statistics. Yo, you Eve that, Hypo, you thank you so much. Deaths related to COVID, thank which you is a real so thing much. That certain areas measure COVID deaths by, you can get banned off. You know it's going to be great, so Eve. Thank you like so very much for your incredibly generous. Changes. Donation are, uh, again. This show is 100% viewer supported. In general, not in Tyler cases, Bluntman. The same exact Tyler Bluntman. Okay, so I'm gonna say quickly, the TikTok. Results, the TikToker. And, uh, the person fucking the least Tyler Bluntman. KOE. He has been oh, knocked out of the ring. Thrown out. KOE of the ring, is out. Uh, dastardly oh. faction. He broke his neck. He is permanently, oh, uh, permanently, wow. permanently been been destroyed from competition. He's gonna need That's some long term recovery. Rough. Yeah, he got the oh. edge treatment. See you later, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. Phil. Hey folks, I'm Phil KOE at KOE Nation on YouTube and Twitch. It was a pleasure seeing all of you and debating with every last one of you people. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and share. Shot. Okay, <laughs> next, uh, we just got Tyler Blutman in here. We're going to start the clock Ooh, again. We're going to continue the conversation. Vicious. On big tech censorship. Vicious. Uh, you may uh, respond to what Sean said. Continue and welcome Tyler. Yeah, James is, uh, is oh, one of the mods tonight. So, so, oh, God. Tyler next. I'm sorry. No? Okay, I'll keep going, okay. man. Um, I'm going to keep putting myself so, over oh, I'm James. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, James. Sorry, dude. I'll, I'll go anyway. Um, so, Sean, uh, like, I find, <laughs> I find it interesting. It's not really sorry, but... I feel like, no, I, uh, but I, Sean, I find it Sorry, James. Um, uh, back that, up, back uh, up, mod. You bring up um, uh, the fact that uh, companies don't let you, like, uh, misgender people. Like, I mean, like, like don't let you harass... Because that's what, what it is, right? It's harassment. <laughs> of uh transgender individuals right that simply call them by well you, you, you don't want to use their pronouns right you could call them by their name right that's that's a, that's a um watch this uh, i'm gonna make this even cooler conservatives have right but you count this you count this as what censorship uh, i don't understand why you would bring this up go ahead i i'm saying this is something clear in policy <clears throat> conservatives believe that you are the gender that you were born into right i think it's rude i would call somebody by their name if they had like a goofy pronoun that i'm not interested in but this is a policy that favors one side of the political spectrum and is weaponized Watch against this, people guys. who have a genuine you belief. You could literally that say the same thing about not sex. saying the N word. Yeah. You could literally yeah. say the same thing. Like, you could say, like, it's biased towards con uh, the alt right that you can't say the N word on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, but you what, can what say you're... the N word on Twitter in certain contexts. Watch well, this. Look at this. And you can probably misgender someone in certain contexts. I don't want to say yeah, it. Same here. I just want to yeah. say it. So, <laughs> why can't I do it? <laughs> no, I I mean honestly, uh, Jake, this I think that's a bit of a of a of a like um. Look at that. That looks nice. Well, point the of view. Cool. Yeah, it's a weird guy bring so it up, but that's funny. his response. But you know, what do you expect from him? Jake, what do you expect from him? I'll give you I'll give you a response. In denims. No, no, sure. I didn't bring it up, but you're oh, like Jesus. I just want to say it. You're trying to. Well, I know, but this is the this is the thing, right? Like, oh Jesus, that's no. You can use the actual justice warrior vermin hands. That's AJW. Sean is actual justice warrior. Conservatives are all just getting banned because you know, you know, actual justice warrior. You know it absolutely. Of course, what Sean said is really clarifies it a little bit better. Is that conservatives are much more bigoted. We got that one with the misgendering thing, and conservatives are more likely to spread covid misinformation there we got we go. that one also there's actually enough there was a different study uh done um i think it was done by either stanford or yale it was one of those ones um and they found that donald trump was one of the this has been a biggest, shit show it's so like, good spreaders you know i'm gonna COVID be there soon don't Twitter. you worry so, canna witchy i'll get in there to donald trump for example getting fact checked is like conservative bias but then it's like donald trump at the same time is spreading more covid misinformation and Really quick, one more thing, if I could just add, I find this really ironic every time we talk about these conservative censorship topics because conservatives are so quick to believe this systemic bias towards conservatives exists because they're so desperate to be the little like bitch baby snowflakes. But then you turn around and talk about systemic racism, which is like a real documented thing with scores of data. And they're like, I don't know. I saw one black guy that succeeded one time. <laughs> it's like it's all based on anecdotes and it's Man, really so hypocritical. It's a fun, actual it's like Jake. A yes. Flaw. So actual Jake. Yes, you can say the N word, but you can't say in all the fun ways they want to say it, right? Fuck like, uh, it's not, uh, Hunter doing well, good. It's, it's, it's beyond that. It's beyond the N-word right? discussion. It's yeah, beyond yeah. the N-word discussion. Yeah, exactly. Really, the idea is that you, that, that I mean, the N-word is like, obviously, like that has a sordid past and we've all had this, this communal discussion forever. Don't fucking say it. That's easy. Done. Uh, mm. as, as far as, as far as the other shit, I'm right? I'm so fucking like the, hyped. The, the, the entire, like, the COVID I'm so mission fucking like, hyped for this. This is going to be so good. Tonight's going to be so good. And remember, numbskull shit. Like, oh, I'm 
anti-trans, science is against you. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. anti-COVID, science is against you. Global mm -hmm. warming, science is against you. It's all this shit all the time. I thought facts didn't give a shit about your feelings, guys. What the fuck is Damn, all Dylan this shit? Dylan's showing off his chest hat. I feel like I should be able to Y'all know Dylan has a chest hat? Be, be a kind person. Have actual political beliefs the besides Amnesty this sort of like woke, like anti-woke counterculture Destiny bullshit. Destiny can't get in on this one unless he's already been invited. You signal to your tiny little conservative base and you go, hey, wolf pack, Might be you Edward Andy subs, part three. I'm gonna say the Edward. Like, and I don't know if you actually do that. I don't mean to, I don't mean to cast that no, on you. He, oh, he, he, now he, I gotta take a line. Hold on, now I gotta take a line. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, yeah, defend yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so the reality I've never theory, seen your son. The reality, of course you have it, right? You don't know what quality when you see it. I mean, that's obvious from the start looking at what you're wearing, right? Because that's clearly like a Walmart. Wait, like, for real? Max that that that's pog shit. What's going on from there? You want me to put right? another one that's on? so pog. Right? I so love chest pads. There, I have to take a line from my man uh, Chase Mitchell, right? Because clearly all the fuck anybody else is doing here is like this straw man <laughs> True to be here, real. right? We got straw men over here and we got straw men over here, right? So let's attack straw men that are not even in the fucking room so that other people, right, that are that might be aligned with some wow, type that's of like awesome, similar Max ideology. Just Holy goes, well, shit, that's so cool. What you so do what the fuck are you wanting anybody right else in the room Okay, so what do you want to say that you can't say? just some type of lefty infighting circle jerk. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing right now? Denim's. So, Denim's. What? Gotta throw it to okay. Denim's. 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 That's Rich coming from CTV who's been arguing with the other righties. Conservatives are just Also, Tyler Bluntman hasn't Said just anything. want to complain about how climate is he change isn't about? real and the science doesn't Make agree with you. Make abortion you about illegal COVID again? Real and the science doesn't agree with you. Dude, this guy's a clown. About how masks don't work. The science doesn't agree she with you. She's got mad about it's, Lil Nas two it's, seconds ago. <laughs> it's fucking insane. It's free dude. speech is fuck. Okay, and then the biggest the biggest problem though is, th I'm sorry, your ideas about gender that you learned from fifth grade biology are True. not comprehensive. I don't know how else to explain this. If you just look at anything about intersex people and realize how many of these people exist. Like you, you have no leg to stand on. Like I don't understand. I can, I can sort of, sort of understand how you can get a little bit pissy when you see neo pronouns and and you're like, no, this is a step too far. But like mm. when it comes to people who are trans and they're just asking for she, her, or they, them, I just don't understand. I oh, just don't that was get the it. abortion debate. I think so. I don't get. I think well, that I know of. Yes, that I know of. Yes, since Kara Christie left. What don't you get? Why does it bother you? Yeah. What does what bother me? Why does any of that shit bother you? Uh, in terms of pronouns, he was talking. We just uh, talked about. Talking you were here. In terms of, uh, I'm not sure. Does that bother you, Tyler? I'm not sure. What if it that does. somebody uses? What that somebody wants me to use the pronouns that they want me to use? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I don't believe that it that it identifies. Okay, I don't believe your name is Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> okay, your name. Your, ah, your name hey, is that's Jerry my for argument, no baby. <laughs> because I feel a way. I what? Think, well, Not man, even how pronouns work. Bro, so hold on. These are some bad arguments, guys. I'm sorry. So, so yeah, so if somebody wants me to use a pronoun, so say that someone is born or somebody identifies as a transgender female, that means you're born as a male, right? So if somebody identifies as a transgender female, I don't, mm -hmm. they're not a female to me, so I'm not going to identify them as such. Wait, now, why not? Hold on. Now, hold on. Now, that does not well, mean that I am going to quote unquote misgender them. I will go by whatever the fuck their name is. If, if you, if you change your name from Tom to Tracy, then go ahead. I will go ahead and identify uh, uh, as you as Tracy, and I'll, I'll talk about that. And I'll try to stay away from gender specific pronouns. But I'm not going to sacrifice but what why? I believe to be true just because you want me to do it. If you wait, told me, wait, if you told me, me. Hold, hold on, hold on. If you told me that your feelings will get fucking hurt if I don't no. tell you that the sky is fucking red, I'm not going to tell you that the sky is fucking red. Your feelings just get hurt. What? You but can't distinguish but, between science, sex and gender. Science, you know what the difference between sex and gender is. No, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, 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 you're like, no! So, 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 denim, so Denim's right now is, again, assuming that I don't believe that there's a difference between sex and gender, and I do. See, that's a problem that you have. That's a problem that actual Jake has since I've no, been no. on here seeing all you people what do is it? on 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 this show all you have oh, done this is guy's mad you, sorry, sorry, so we're not generalizing general, instead of, sorry, sorry, instead of, sorry, sorry. Instead of instead of this guy's is actually triggered right now over generalizing yeah. conservative well, 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 all three of you are raising your hands that's fucking weak that just shows how weak you are give me give me a a this is so wonderful i'm i'm digging this so hard this is so great okay Okay, I'm gonna stand on the moderator's line. We're gonna throw it over to Denim's first. Uh, then, uh, since you're all raising your hand, uh, this is Denim's actual Jake Prime, but try to not do it super long since all of you are gonna get to talk and you can only respond so much. Okay, Jared, Paul, I wanna tell you something. This is not an overgeneralization, okay? You literally said verbatim 
Who, who that's not to? your my, my name's not Jared. I, who are you talking to, Karen? No, no, I'm talking to you. That's that's what, uh, that's what I okay, feel yeah. your name is. <laughs> you, I'm not. There are no generalizations being made. You literally all said, you have done is overgeneralize. Person, okay, if you let me finish, I can explain it to you so you can understand. Strong it. Man in you literally right. said, "I am not." That's not that person's gender. So clearly, if I you never can't pull the mic from PA, okay, okay, okay. Denims, you can go please. back and, and you can go back and check. You said, yeah, of course you can vote. You vote every time. You won't. Everybody you, votes you every can't time. Respect that person's gender, or I that like that. I I will, I will I will I will use the, their the she, votes will be posted soon and want, we'll have them. But that's Why? not what their gender is. These aren't Why? generalizations. You Why? said it, it so, goes so against one. So I was like, never said they were not that gender. Okay, okay. Jared, I'm going to Tyler for a little first. I'm going to I'm going to respond to what you said. I'll be in in a minute. Don't you worry. So it's gonna the, okay. It so at the end of each round, right the now. vote happens, and then Dennis, they let people in. Good. I'll be in uh, right. in thirty minutes. Jared, That's when Tyler. my round then begins, approximately. Actual, then back well, to Tyler. Then the prime. Then the Tyler. It's all, don't you worry. I'll be in there. I'll be in there Tyler. in a minute. Yeah. Okay. okay. Don't you worry. So one, then it's gonna I be fucking I don't all all out from here. Gender. Right. I said. I said that if they believe that their gender is not the same as their, or I'm sorry, if they say. That they want me to nope, respond. You don't to get to know the topics beforehand. I don't believe that their it's gender on the matches spot. their biological sex, right? Which is clear if they say that they're trans, that it's very easy to, to decipher. Then no, I am not going to respond, or I'm not going to uh, respond to you. I am the god of so so fire. Fire. It has nothing to do with gender. So I never said that gender and sex are the same thing. So why first of all, is first the all, question? First of all, pronouns are not a derivative of gender. Pronouns are a derivative of sex, not gender. Pronouns are a derivative believe, of gender. That's going to be what, me when I come in. That up? Why, why do you believe Every that? person that has a gender that you disagree with that says these, my pronouns are this, oh, and so then you get on, mad. So hold on, so saying, yeah, so, 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 hold on. So, so, so saying that somebody, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. We, we, can, we can deduce this really easily. We can deduce this really easily. Just let me explain it to you. What is she What is she a derivative of? What is the word she a derivative of? It doesn't matter. Of Do you, woman. Of woman. Oh, what is woman a derivative, derivative of? of woman. Female. What is female a derivative, it's derivative of? of it's femininity. It, wait, wait, hold on. And, and can I, I just say, say even if it is, that's irrelevant? Can, can, can I explain this? Can I explain this? You are definitionally incorrect. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. There's two people talking at once. All right. I got a magic We need the poll. We need the poll. Hey, Gay Fesh, can you grab the poll? When three people talk, you don't get three Sorry. I'm sorry. It's impossible for me to grab the polls. Actually, none of the information. So. We have a, yeah. you need to have a tiny bit of order here, okay? So, uh, Tyler, did you get to say your piece? So I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. Uh, okay. So, so just just to clear this up for like ten, well, 10 wait, seconds. Wait, wait, wait! You just said you have to say your piece, though. Well, you just you just asked me. So I said, I, so and you I'm, said yeah. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Then I, I meant no. Oh, okay. Well, then, okay. You got five <laughs> seconds. Can you do it in five seconds? Okay. Yeah. This guy's so a dumb she shit. is a derivative of woman. Woman. Wait, the poll hasn't been posted. Female, oh, okay. 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 Biological, sorry. Biological has nothing to do with gender. Okay, okay, Jake, and then we're gonna go to Prime, and I see Sean wants to drive back reality. Can I talk for a second? Because no, there, there's well, something I really gotta respond here with Yeah, that. but other people well, raised their hand first, and it's I got it. Like, it's, so, oh, so, I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was like a raising hand thing. Oh, you weren't here for well, the now, end. You, you, you weren't watching, you just kind of walked into the show. We've been raising our hand. Oh, so we got somebody that's not an actual fan of the hippie dippy Yeah, we'll watch that tonight. We'll watch that tonight. That's gonna affect the voters. Yeah, so fuck Hunter, right? Gender calculus. Well, hey, we had gender chemistry, right? We can give it to you by the end of it. Thank Jake, you, Prime, Aw, Sean, thank you, Lonnie. Hunter. We okay, appreciate so are you, that a lot. Are you going to go full biological essentialism here with the anti-abortion hat, and, that, and that's the way you want to dig your grave, or do you want to like actually have a fucking cogent thought in your head and well, just understand that gender is literally social? It has very little to do, as far as the pronouns, true, actual, as far Jake, as the true. pronouns are concerned, it has very little to do with sex. Sex sometimes informs how people will, of course, have primary and secondary sexual characteristics. Absolutely, but sometimes, guess what? Maybe. You you don't want your big dick. Maybe you want a nice pussy. Maybe you're gonna get one. That's fucking great. Have you seen any of the <laughs> They look the fucking same. Who gives a shit? If someone says, "Hey, this it. is my social pronoun. I love this it. is the these are the pronouns in a social space," because it doesn't fucking matter when you're checking out their genome, what you call them behind the, in the fucking science book. True, it doesn't matter. Jake. What they want is for you socially Based. to understand why do I and accept the fact. To, Why should I to, care? Under, to understand, I'll tell you, to understand and accept the fact that, hey, this is who the fuck I am, and, and we have general th uh, general understanding of one another. The reason you should care about that They're is already because dead. We live in They're a world already with one another, dead. and it makes a lot more. Oh, feeling. Yeah, okay. It's not so, feeling. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, this is such a bad argument. So, 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 can I respond to that real quick? Uh, uh, CTV, you okay there, buddy? Give me a second here. It's not even feelings argument. 
It's like, like, can, can I reply? Okay. I'm about to do this. There's so, there's so many on. people on the show, and I understand everybody can, wants to respond to everything. No, but can but I respond? No, this is no, no, I'm going to try and raise yeah, his hand no, 10 no, minutes ago. Dylan, I am going I'm going to execute this. Okay. Real quick, I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be right back. I only want to say one thing. I'll be right back, everybody. Stick around. I think that you and I are going to be able to agree with this. So regardless if 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 we believe the same thing on this on this specific point, it doesn't really matter to how I uh, how I go about it. Just because I don't agree with what you label yourself as, again, I am I, I told you from the beginning, I am not going to try I'm not going to be that asshole that goes out of my way to make you feel uncomfortable. I am going to try and uh, uh, call you by the name that you prefer me to do. I think that's a healthy compromise. Who am I to say that your name is more masculine or feminine, right? If you want to go ahead and say that your name's Tracy, fine, your name is Tracy. I will go ahead and do that, and that doesn't sacrifice my own beliefs that I don't believe you to be what you are. I don't think that that's an issue. I don't know why anybody else would try and argue past that if I will call you by the name you asked me to call you. Okay, okay. so okay. we're going to throw it to Prime because Prime would probably respond to that and probably disagrees with them, so I'm going to throw it to Prime. And then Sean, so actually, then Hunter. So actually, I'd like to reach out an olive branch to my conservative brothers here, um, and that I don't think you should uh, be able to compel speech. I mean, try to wait this to the original topic, right, to the essentials and all that stuff, right? Um, I don't think you should um, compel speech. So um, if you are going to call someone by their name, right, like their actual, the name that, that they give you, right, like let's say it's Tracy rather than Tad or something, right, um, then if you are going to, then I don't think that's like a, a, a well, I shouldn't say what well, I shouldn't decide for trans individuals whether that's rude or not. But um, I would say that like we shouldn't try to force people to use yeah. words they don't want to use, right? I um, also find I also find it hilarious well, that Denim's so an actual Jake uh, wanted, let, wanted to bring up this whole on, thing on, and then Tyler, started Tyler, Tyler, and then Tyler. started by calling me a name that it's not even my name. Tyler, I just find that to be Tyler, just okay. Okay, prime. <laughs> Right. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. So, I, so to reach out again, um, I think we shouldn't be trying to compel speech, right? Um, we 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 want to respect uh, respecting free speech. Like free speech is also uh, uh, involves like not saying things you don't want to say, right? Like that's that's part of free speech, right? Not compelling something. So I I, I want to say that that's 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 fine, right? And maybe we can actually move back to the original subject because we've got because as usual, once we have these political debates, they end up um, moving towards somehow, no matter what the topic is, like I'm back, to, I'm back, to I'm the back, bodies of, of our trans brothers and sisters. So maybe we could There's move the back to the original topic, talking about big tech censorship, right? And so, thank um, you for the gift of tier one as sub. Let's say, like, here's persons, the poll, everybody um, on uh, YouTube aren't misgendering someone, right? Like, uh, uh, I got some nerds, um, nerds the, chewies. The, the, the name, the given nerds name clusters. of a person. Then why should we care? Like, why should AJW we is care? actual I, justice warrior. It's up to us on the left to be forcing them, to policing them. And that way, right? Like as long as it's not, but like obviously you vote for who you so want to stay. Misgendering vote is for who you want to stay. In my opinion, and so that should be uh, uh put an end. Uh, that should be against the rules. Okay, Sean, you are next. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know why we ended up in a weird like debate about transgender people. My point was that this policy at Twitter vote favors keep, one side, and I think the debate that spawned from this with all the I'm voting for actual going, Jake. Uh, shows that that people are actual passionate about Jake. this. My point is, is big tech is on one of these sides and their policies reflect <laughs> that. Like, I have no problem calling you by- well, I think actual Jake is doing good. Gender. I have no problem calling you by your pronoun. That's not the point. The point is, is that some conservatives, like the people on this panel, believe Denims that she is really great refers too. only to biological females. I love Denims. And that's what they call I just, you. I just thought Jake and did good Twitter that round. disagrees, and that is the left-wing position to disagree with that. That was the overall point. It wasn't about whether or not, like, thank you so much, Mr. Geek. That's right or wrong. The point is, is that these policies cut in direction of one person or one side, and against that's another okay, side. Gabe, that's what I was. I'm sure I'll get another the opportunity. Harassment, harassment is persistent and repeatedly. Like, you can use misgendering as a component of harassment, but on its own, like, always if you trans thriving. Yes, you can't tell and you make your best guess. That's not harassment. Okay, that's true. Yeah. Next is going to be over to Hunter. All right. Hunter. Yeah, Tyler, I would really like a chance to talk to you, man, because I see your hat. I'm guessing from the hat alone, you're probably like a Trump fan, too, or at least you were. Um, and oh! you, you, would, you would be guessing wrong. Oh, really? OK. Really, really. I, OK. Wow. Very surprising. So uh, I was but I used to be a conservative. So I feel like you, you get surprised a lot. I missed who said that, but it sounded no, it's funny. CTV. CTV. Mm -hmm. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, if I could just explain to you, Tyler, some of the stuff, like, so first of all, the pronoun thing, right? Like, when trans people are transitioning, um, they usually, in like, most cases, most every time, they are trying to present themselves as the gender that they identify as, right? So, 
They might be biologically male, sure, but their gender might differ from their biology and they might identify as a woman, not as a female. And that's what gender dysphoria is. You know, a lot of the times I think people Damn. misunderstand the argument and they think that yep. trans He's got it. people are up here literally claiming that uh, like if th their penis magically turns into a vagina or something like trans people have gender dysphoria. They are like most trans people are painfully aware True. of that disconnect there. And True. one of the ways that they mitigate that, uh, which is literally supported by scientific and medical consensus, is to begin transitioning sometimes socially, which means they try to present more like the gender that they identify as, which means that for the most part, they are going to look like that gender. You probably pass transgender people all the time and don't even yep. realize it because True. they pass, right? Yep. True. And for the most part, most trans people pass enough so that using pronouns really comes down to a utilitarian thing more than anything else. If you were in a crowded restaurant, right? He and has you saw come somebody way far. The, the I will give him that credit. I don't know with long a whole hair, lot about Avalon, but he's come a long way later? since he was first like, on, on sorry, Bosch. I'm, I'm finishing up here. Are you going to say like, what? I, I guess uh, I'll go talk to that biological man that's okay. what i was gonna say after everyone started yelling round is over. I, I don't, I don't <laughs> understand <laughs> right guys rounds over good job. Good job. come on boss yeah true we have we have the results for polling uh, I'll, I'll let chat vote for a few more seconds since all right uh, everybody let's see need to audio then go and vote now uh, go vote if you haven't voted hell, vote uh, if you haven't voted around wasn't it vote if you haven't voted I'm so proud vote of do you way. think you, you guys? I love I'll, you. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I, I am, I am very proud of Hunter of saying all of those great things that was not relevant to anything that I had to say. I'm but, sorry. Oh. I thought you were saying the pronouns <laughs> were that you wouldn't respect. I got, I got a, I got a question. I was giving you a I good reason as for the why participants. You might, I got an actual question for the participants. I got a question that's relevant. Okay. So, do you guys want to do? We have one more topic after this. Do you guys want to continue on this topic or shift to the next one? Because it seems like there's still a lot to be said. To What's one? the next topic? Um, yeah, next topic let please. me check. Uh, James, do you remember what the next topic? If I remember right, did we cover... It was We've covered filibuster, big tech censorship. Do you remember what was we next? Should, we should stick to the cancel trans culture. issue. Is it not the next not... topic? Cancel gun culture. culture. Um, I think gun control is was it, was it? It was gun control and... One, one second. I mean, I'll get it. I'll just let everybody finish. <laughs> I had it on the list. Awkward. Awkward. It's okay. Here we go. I'm here to keep you entertained in this would, awkward moment. I'd be able to stick Baba Boy. Baba Boy. Baba Boy. Oh, cancel culture. That was it. Thank you. Okay. Hunter was just keeping that in pocket. He wasn't going to give it to me. Bazinga. Oh, I'm, I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were looking for that. He doesn't even watch yeah, the show. Yeah, I thought you said Baba Boy. Baba Boy. I've been DM'd by the... I've been DM'd by the... Um, I've been DM'd by the, uh, by the, the judges. by the judges, and we have the results right here on this piece of paper. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna guess that it's me. <laughs> Everybody always thinks it's them. No, Everybody I won't bazinga you. Man, I'm so really sorry. Surprising. Really surprising. Can you believe this result, guys? It's actually it's super surprising, actually. So I'm just still in shock over the result here. It looks. <laughs> sorry, like CTV. It. <laughs> You've been kicked out of the ring. Bye, CTV. Bye. I'll let you say your moniker though, because you've you've been a great service to the show. Mm. Well, this is the hippy dippy roundtable. You fuckers need to get a lot funnier, right? And there needs to be a lot less disingenuous attacks and some actual truth. I like I like I like how That's we're my just name, bro. I like how we're just eliminating. Wait, what happened to the moniker? What about the moniker? Like, you, I like how we're eliminating the, the, all the conservatives. The Again, uh, as, as with elections, just well, be more likable. Well, don't worry, we we have everybody's <laughs> favorite conservative coming on what? next. Do we? Yeah. Oh, no. you, you have yeah, favorite your... conservative. Wait, we didn't know? howl. Does nobody know? Who's coming in? Yeah, Who's coming in? Who's coming in? Who we got? Who we got? Shoe on head! Shoe on head! Pog! Pog! Nice to meet you. Shoe! 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 The only person I've ever seen with an American flag in the background that doesn't make me want to kill myself. What? So, in Minecraft, in the Jake. rest in Minecraft, Sorry, Dylan, no, seriously. Actual Jake. Um, you know, look at really my nice background to, quick. Uh... Can you what? Oh. You look at my background quick, actual Jake. <laughs> uh, don't see it. There's a flag right there. there I do see it. I do see it. Second person. 
It's... Chat, <laughs> take that into consideration so, uh, in voting. It's, so, it's nice to meet you. Uh, Sean, that's okay, uh, Gayfesh, uh, I understand. I've been a fan of your work. And uh, I want to say hi to James. I hadn't, didn't get to do that. James, I love Listen, your uh, we all know. Um, can you get me Matt Dillahunty's autograph? Is that a thing you can do? Is that a thing I can ask for? <laughs> I can okay. get you Matt Dillahunty's autograph. Thank You're you. all friends, and oh, I hate God. it. Let's go to Abandoning the topic, me. which is cancel culture. Mm. Is Abandoning cancel culture me. Don't you do it. Or is it being overhyped and it's complete nonsense? I'm going to, of course, throw it. She was so cute, to though. She was outfit is so um, cute. So I actually do think that cancel culture is a real thing. I think uh, lately it's kind of being overhyped, like, um... As always, conservatives are running with it, but I'm like, like a, I'm like a creepy troll in comparison to Shu. Um, Goodness, calling like, for example, the Dr. Seuss thing, um, where Dr. Seuss, the publication like itself, wanted to get rid of, will stop publishing those few books, and they were like, oh, this is cancel culture. Like, no, that's not cancel culture. Um, <laughs> but I do believe that cancel culture is a real <sighs> thing, and I actually do believe that it's like a problem. And um, I feel that can of witchy. The I, I feel that thing um, that. <laughs> I uh, heard recently was uh, during a Trump speech. Um, he briefly said, during, "True, like, Jessica Metal, impin like, oh, the, better the than simpin. Em impin like, better realize. than but he had simpin." One point where he was like, "You know, they do this, they do this," and he said, "They want to get you fired from your jobs," and that he didn't expand on that, but that kind of scared me because that is going to become. A very important what if it comes down to shoe versus mama? Like you know which. You know who you have to choose. You uh, know who has fired, to win. People getting fired from um or like um being forced to resign. By the way, if like, you're not in my Discord, um, join the Discord. Discord.gg like forward slash Demon Mama. Um, and it's a real fear that like normal everyday people have. Like they can't keep up with the newest terms and stuff like that, like uh, lingo and everything. They're scared Could be try hacks. Try hacks would be pog. Facebook, you know, they're um boss will find out or whatever could be destiny and i feel like that's a real could be the surfs that's gonna be happening and i feel like the left could be hassan take it seriously because with shu on right here might be hassan it. and it's a real fear i don't know if, if dylan has and, contact um, with hassan though there's a I lot doubt of it, examples though. of it actually happening like um, if it was hassan to be pog college girl that would that, be like, so amazing said the n-word or something like what could like, be rgr five years ago yep. and they like kept it did you guys see that story yeah they held on to that for five years and then when she got into college the person this like psychotic person was just like oh hey here and like she had to you know not get into that college anymore i Stuff think like sean's that. out next like a new york a new york times right i think sean's and, like, out um, next that uh, thing too. yeah yeah and so like this is a real issue and it's going to keep getting worse and worse and i feel like destiny and vosh can't come in on this one like, oh, well sweet, destiny could but vosh can't culture. and like no that's not that's not what's happened here, and I feel like the left needs to get a little Vosh can't, because Vosh is already the yeah, champion. Adams was the first to raise their hand, so I'm going to throw it to Denims first. I wanted to make a qu uh, quick distinction. When you talk about cancel culture being real, you're not talking about, like, Vosh is the champion already. This is the, this is the fight to determine who, we'll who fights right Vosh. Like, it doesn't matter no. how big. <laughs> yeah. okay. Tyler's getting like, the like boot, you think? Oh, yeah, you like might James be right. Charles it's like, yeah, he yeah, got yeah, canceled, like, all right. Mm-hmm. That yeah. would be interesting. I think the real um, no, I would love with, uh, to, to be honest. Besides me, I would love to see Shu against Vosh so because I'm that would be so fun, so you, wild. You mentioned uh, the New York Times thing, and there's lots of things in the New York Times. Also, done. Jake um, against Vosh would be fun. Mind, uh, is the one woman who um. But I, but you all know you really uh, want to see uh, me go against Vosh. Like in, in some sort of racially insensitive co uh, costume, right? Um, and then they did expose about this. This is like a long time ago. It happened, right? And she, the, the woman had already like felt like terrible about it, right? But they decided to put this woman on blast, right? Uh, for no particular reason, and it didn't actually. She wasn't. Next in, link in, isn't uh, here quite anyone, yet. Like, Mama Vivash, that'd be figure, so good, right? and you and know it. Just decided to destroy this woman's life. Why? What did that actually? Hunter Vivash could be right? good. Now, um, can oh they? I know they disagree on a lot of stuff, useful, Jade Monkey. Right? To, uh, they just have to find actual it. Actual abusers, I think so. I think we can um, uh, use that to say that no, you cannot uh, go through life using your your money and your power, right? No, nah, I can't no do the bazinga right now. Whatsoever. But even then, I don't um, want to lose as my we, mods. As uh, stated before. Let me check in on YouTube um, chat. How's YouTube chat case, holding up? It, it really hey, YouTube works, chat. Right? So Love you I all. feel like the people with the least nah. power end up being hurt the most, right? And the people with the most power. The, the, Love the you, YouTube chat. I hope you're enjoying your new emotes, YouTube chat. That and and even when they're not, I need to get the the YouTube chat the link. You'll have a lot of these people. 
they'll be on CNN, right? Like fucking um, Dylan's uh, partner's Lowen, hair is super like, nice. For example, she uh, is on CNN complaining that I'm being canceled while mm-hmm. she's in, the, in an audience of millions of people, right? Mm-hmm. So again, it's the little people who get hurt, the big people uh, get You know it better be me, you okay, motherfuckers. Um, next Look at that. There we go. Jake that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, that's right. You I definitely fuckers better vote for me. There's a little bit where you're right and a little bit where you're wrong. Definitely there was oh, an overcorrection. Shit. Because All, I'm gonna purge uh, everyone uh, who no didn't one had vote been number held one. Accountable for a very long time, or at least not not no one, but nobody that needed to be held accountable. Um, and so you have, have a, a surge, and this tends to happen when a vast m- uh, minority group, um, whatever that may be, whether it's trans, LGBT, uh, 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 you know, uh, racial minorities, whatever, um, or ethnic minorities, religious minorities, any of them. Um, you will have this pushback because for a long time they were voiceless mm-hmm. and, and they were not being heard at all. And so it's kind of, you made your own bed when you decided not to listen to them in the first case. I won't do it this and time because I'm kind. Sometimes that's going to happen. You're going to have uh, uh, these sort of social casualties along the way as we move towards something that's a better system, in which case the better system would be where we just hold people accountable to their words at the time and we, we call it out. This is what the whole anti-racist movement is that I know a lot of right-wingers don't like to hear because they get upset about it for some reason. We, but but really what anti-racism is and, and any other kind of like anti-homophobia, anti-transphobia, whatever it might be. I think she's done debates for not on Twitch hey, though. actively calling that out right there when it happens, not laughing and going, ha ha ha, I'm being socially awkward and then letting that stew and percolate. That's the point, right? We're going to get to a point where we just go that's not cool now do i think that 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 someone should have their life ruined because when they were 14 years old they said the n-word on xbox live no do i hell yeah lady kelgana that's reasonable that's awesome for for someone that says the n-word tomorrow to get canceled whether or not you're a mom that that sells cookies and drives her kids to soccer or not or or whatever yeah you kind of know now there's there's been a sort of a statute of limitations we know now right now you don't get to do that shit anymore. So there's a little bit of stuff where you got to be edgy in the past, but if you continue to do that in the future, I mean, you know what the terms of service are, both on all these platforms and in the country. Like, well, you just what, know it What now. should the consequences be, though? What that's true. The cons- so no, so let's say relative to whatever fact, happened, we had, right? Jake got so, too okay, mad. So that's okay. No, no, no bad blood. It's fine. He freaked out. Happened. Whatever. It was It was um, embarrassing, but whatever. in a grocery store, right? Sounded or like a grinder notification, uh, yeah. To a, uh, <laughs> Not for me. Uh, clerk or whatever, right? I think, it was, I think it was this one. Um, yeah, it's actually from whereby. She's like, well, that's what you are. You're an N-word, right? And then no one, I don't think she actually been identified. Oh, my God. But could identify this woman. What would your prescription be for her? Will my prescription be? Yeah. I mean, I don't have a specific social. We're behind schedule, but that's okay. We're behind schedule, but that's okay. If she has a position, say she's a teacher or something, yeah, okay. fucking get fired. But if you're oh. a, if you're an Amazon worker, I mean, like, like, is Amazon even gonna fire that person? They might. It just depends. Yeah, I think so, that's what. I mean, be... don't be don't be calling people the N words. Go ahead. It should be adjusted based on like how severe right. your crime exactly. is, right? Like, like if you said saying. a word, it's like probably shouldn't say that or whatever. But like, if and you by like, crime you mean social crime. Yes, yeah, but if you like, like, I don't need uh, anyone to be jailed for this. Shit. All right, here's Unless the vote. Here's the vote. Here's the Hunter, vote. Can I, can I? Can I respond, Jim? Uh, sure. Hunter, is this the newest Hunter, vote? Here's yeah, the newest so vote. Hunter, All right. Okay, no, no, can, I'm not. I'm not trying to vote to keep. Vote to keep. Vote to keep. This is who you want to keep. Vote to keep. So Jake, so when you're saying that people that are saying the M word that are racist, are you saying only white people, or or is it, or do you apply that to black people as well? Vote. I love that question. Uh, Are you calling it? Are you saying it in like like because it's one of one of your colloquial friends, or is it because are you are you are you saying it to a song, or are you calling and denigrating someone based on the color of their skin? There's obvious social differences. It's not just the word; it's how it's used in relative. We are not ants. We can understand social faux pas and understand understand socialization we don't have to just go ah that word blacklisted uh i guess that was a Yo. <laughs> that was a uh okay okay uh, so, so, no just pun intended. so just to clarify then you're are, are you saying i'm not trying to i'm not trying to straw man your argument so correct me if i'm wrong yeah. are you saying that uh if like a if like a white person says it in like a, as like a term of endearment that it would it would be socially acceptable i mean okay so again again you if you give your, if you give your white okay, friends the n-word pass that's fucking weird to me and if you are a white person with the pass don't that's you're strange to me now there's Doesn't some exist. people there's some people there's some people that claim like i i grew up in the neighborhood oh my and i got God. friends and they gave me the pass whatever dude that's weird to me i hypocrite if you want to do that cool dude, but I mean, what you, is you this know the world setup? you're living if, if he's saying if he's saying hey man hey bro and then they they, they what is this? Up, and then another person sees oh my god what is that, that? i'm 
obviously there was like <laughs> social consent there. there. If you're screaming at a teller what and saying, you're fuck? an N-word, that's what you are. It you're seems an like N-word. An unfinished like, so, house. So what is that so backdrop? Do you, you think that was a like Kendrick Lamar song? You, you, like, you didn't actually answer. You didn't actually answer. No, he really question. did. It's what yes. it. It's not a yes or no. Is he living I, I, in like a model house? Basically, no. basically, what I want to know. Male living spaces. Sure you're just with Sorry, I know that's so that sexist. I don't care. Whatever, that's a male it, living space. Of endearment, or if you're saying it in a, a quote unquote racist way against another person, do you hold uh, that same yeah. uh, stance no matter what the race or ethnicity is? <gasps> he just did. I just say that it that it mattered based on the social interaction. Out loud I, with I, my words. I just, I just outlined oh, I, that in the question that I just asked you, but you're right. I said out loud that it matters based on the social interaction, right? Like if I if I go up to one of my friends and I'm like, "Hey, you sexy bitch," like, and that's one of my friends, they'll be like, oh, "Okay, cool, yeah, you are okay, also okay, a sexy so, bitch, so, Mr. So Corn." So and then I go, and, and, and I then if I say, "Hey, hypocrite. you sexy bitch," to some <laughs> random woman who doesn't know me, we True, have no rapport actual whatsoever. True, actual username. How could I? It's the MGTOW shit. Obviously, that's me being a fucking weirdo, not being cool. I'm going to lock you in the MGTOW shed. random black guy who you think you could be cool with at the 7-Eleven. Sean's like on his phone. What a loser. AJW. you are friends for lifelong with that guy, and you're part of the neighborhood, you're part of this culture, like, like that happens from time to time, but it's not like, it's pretty rare. Right, and it just—it's—it's it's irrelevant, right? I don't, that, I don't it, care. About, I don't care about the rarity. That is—that is, that is what I call sure. a so cursed, in the, in your, a cursed what you, space. In your, in your own hypothetical, when you were talking about some sexy bitch, in that hypothetical, if you went up to one of your friends, a white friend yeah. or a black friend or whatever, and you mm -hmm. said, "Hey, you sexy N-word," or should you or should you not be canceled? Well, I, I wouldn't, so I hope you cancel me because that's not if my culture. This is a I mean, room with cursed Feng Shui. Down feng Shui. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Everybody else is not cursed right. Feng Shui yeah. right there. Yeah. Like, get, like, uh, like, depressing like, and haunted. Like, exactly, like, Zoe Vex. Being uh, gay, right? Bad and, things have uh, happened through that door in the hypocrite shack. On some social media, your boss finding feng out. Feng shui. Like, All mean, right, like feng shui. All right, I'll get it right eventually. That's shui. Feng shui. Feng shui. That's, 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 that's that would also be a crime. That's, but, no, no, no. But I'm yeah. saying, or, I'm saying this is what feng shui. Is also, I'll get it right. Also, I promise. I'll get it. Uh, first of all, it depends on. That's discrimination. Uh, it's, 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 it's discrimination, yeah, 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 true. But I'm saying like that that's the shadow realm. True. I'm saying that is a. I think I see some pop tarts in the background. They don't say that. Obviously, don't. They can fire you for any fucking reason, right? And then you'll like you can fire you because you're gay. But they'll say for another reason, right? So honestly, so but my point is, is that that's the bigger issue. Right? <laughs> True, when, arrogant right, prince. People just saying these words, right? These actual um, uh, uh, people being uh, attacked for who they are, right? And by their uh, place of employment, I think that's much bigger. I, issue there's than multiple actual, Chinese like, speakers in chat, so I trust for. them. Can um, I? Oh, sorry. You can respond. Yeah, I just want to say when it comes that is to the I hypocrite. Yes, thing, you know, I think it it really is. There is a lot of nuance there. Um. The N word is an easy example to point. I out. will be on the I panel shortly. Yes, Grimpy Coffee. How much consequences? Very soon, in fact, uh, or negative consequences. Very soon. Derive from like said person's racist actions. So, uh, it, for example, if like some soccer mom is like, yeah, driving along in like her minivan, right, and like sings the N word, or even I would say actually, even if a soccer mom is being racist and like uses the N word in a racist thing, I think uh, uh, racist. Uh, context, I, I don't know. The room's that, pretty know, cursed, kangaroo. Like, I mean, yes, the individual like is cursed, but does not the but does not the environment that, like, impress itself any upon the person? Yes. Coming to black people from like Karen saying the N-word or whatever. I think mm. that I mean there could be, but it's I think broader systemic harm. But yeah, I agree. I agree, to, Hunter. I agree. No, you have to you have to analyze how much harm is done here. And that's a lot um, of the times that's a lot of the times what the problem is. Like what we saw with this teen vogue situation. Got lots of water. Is, I'm hydrated. I'm ready. Made anti or I'm sorry, Asian joke tweets was what they really were. Uh, when she was a minor in high school in 2011 and got fired from her job now as a like nearly 30 year old woman. So I think that's what, exactly what you were saying previously, uh, actual Jake, right? Saying that these things, like, well, you sure, have to call these sure, things but, at well, the time, no, right? Specifically, than, specifically, so, it so, was so, the, uh, so I'll speak on that Team Vogue thing, right? It seemed oh, like okay. uh, to me that this woman, um, she uh, she certainly made a mistake, right? She apologized for it. Like, people, the, the, as, from what I understand of the situation, someone correct me if I'm wrong, um, that uh, the employers had already known about this uh, uh, situation and they talked to her. That's really weird, um, thought, Bangle like, Bangle. You know, this is something we can move past. 
it and, does look uh, liminal. This is a woman trying to move on for life. Maybe, maybe he snuck into that house. Like, maybe that's like an abandoned like, a house. Like we can't mm -hmm. like um, do exactly what Hunter uh, said. Like uh, analyze yes, situation. silent. That's true. Like, uh, you vote. You uh, person, silent. Us, the rules are when the poll comes, you vote for who you want to keep, and the people with the highest votes stay in. The lowest vote gets eliminated every time. The person with the least support gets eliminated at the time right yeah. something edgy, which is why right? i know that my imps are going to flood in there and support me changed, right so i mm -hmm. want to give people room to grow right if we don't give people room to grow then first of all one uh uh they'll uh, uh they won't admit what they've done right they'll never admit what they've done because once they admit has i done, even they're, said they're, anything uh, yet why is he here it's coming their way one way or the other right we can understand that maybe 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 uh these people uh can't why is he here throughout their lifetimes and then simply uh firing them um, huh. for, for, for all this is he hasn't not said necessary. anything. Okay, I'm going to throw it right. to Sean because Sean hasn't Did he come early? About this oh, show. he came yeah. early. Okay. Respect. So a long time <laughs> not ago. Not his first time, I'm sure. Far, far away, there were a bunch of losers <laughs> that would write letters to like media organizations when they saw things that they didn't like to complain. And for some reason, these organizations would take these losers seriously. Now all of those losers have that's Twitter a demon accounts, inside of a corpse. Much hey, easier that's an insult to, to the demons. About things they see in their day to day lives. So, like, when we're talking about cancel culture, True, it's like individual Chilster. cases are kind of like whatever. Like, you can pick one and everybody's going to dispute it and all that. But I think it is toxic in our society that there are Lamau, people on Alara. the internet who spend all day on the internet looking for people to target. And oh, you know I'm staying hydrated. You know I'm job, staying cetera, hydrated cetera. today. And to I'm so ready for this. us leaving no room for growth. I think that is a hundred percent true because you'll. Take I, a I think he does have a rant sona. A lot of usually. people think the woman is in the wrong of like amy cooper in central park right and she calls the police on this guy i think that any dog mom that gets like threatened mildly by a dude would have probably spazzed out in the same way and for some reason that is like international news and we're talking about it she's fired I don't from know. her job she the bird watching guy <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, talk, did yeah, she call the him. cops on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She weaponized. Well, okay, I picked the case that you guys can would I... look, deliberately be against her because this is go. my point, right? So she called the cops on him. She like acknowledges she made a mistake. The guy specifically said like leave her alone shortly after before they even called into arrest. He even implied that he wasn't interested in testifying against her. His original Facebook post said that he brought dog treats to like scare people who walk their dogs without a leash in that area, but the internet has not relented. The national media has not relented on this woman. So at what point do we say, okay, you look really bad in this interaction. You probably spazzed out because you're a dog mom and dog moms are cringe as hell. But like, can we move on as a society and let this person come and join us and get yeah, an it job? Yeah, it was and definitely people, like, uh, because of being a dog mom and, and not because of being an obvious racist. Oh my citizen. God. So I think that she, she should have actually-, actually AJW is so brain dead. Because, Holy uh, shit. Opinion, she called it in a fucking execution. She knew exactly what she's fucking doing against I that mean, individual. She actually, where she actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. White women, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna let that stand. White women have been using their tears, right? To call in violence against African Americans. Pixie, don't you potential. worry. We'll get this. This, this guy's gonna concept, get right? fucking shit canned. That, Doesn't stand that, a chance. Right? Um, her getting some sort of punishment for whatever for what she did. Um, uh, should this be a forever punishment? No, right. So I think like, can she? Can, is it a possibility that this woman can grow up in this situation? Can understand that what she did was wrong. Um, become a better person at the end of it. Yes, I actually do believe that. Um, but let's not like minimize what she did. She was calling in a motherfucking execution. She knows oh, well, well, Bluntman has a ton of fans, right. so they're you know okay. remember absolutely these right. types of things are popularity wanna, contests. Absolutely. That's why I need y'all yeah, yeah. to vote I, I for me. Push back on, I want to push back on both what what Sean said in, in in doubling down on what Prime just said, which is absolutely correct, and then which push will be back soon. just a little bit with Hunter. Um, not a ton. Uh, with the with the harm thing. With the harm mm -hmm. thing, sure, one instance of saying the N-word at one black person might not seem like a, a, a bunch of harm. And, and in the in the minuscule, it is. In the <clears throat> macro scale, this happens every day. Well, if I it's could like just say more more fans, fans, Jessica like Metal, more fans. one pail of water uh, 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 in, in, in the tub isn't going to overflow it. But yeah, it will if everybody else also does a pail of water. And eventually these things stack up and it leads to systemic normal. It won't racism. happen, stranger things. This is it won't harm. happen. Another thing with the police, anytime you call the police on a black person. No, not yet. Anything, of course not, Rivi. It is weaponized. It's not that big of a deal. Just because of how that apparatus is. I don't think either of us are that in petty. the United States. And I understand there are justified cases where you yeah, probably like should Prime call the police, but let it be known that it's more likely to end up per capita, not overall, per Why capita, because there me? are fewer black people, but 
but you know that's how per capita works uh there's it's per capita more likely to end in violent altercation with the police whether or not that person is armed or whatever who cares they're supposed to be able to be armed as the second amendment i don't know why people yeah, are i think jake is doing this. real good right uh, now the, honestly kind of jake thing. is doing it's, really it's good weird. there's a lot of harm that happens in the micro Shoe got a shoe and i hypocrite gotta speak uh, uh, up groups whether it's black whether it's whether it's lgbt whatever and it is harm. Just because it's a little bit of harm doesn't mean it's not harm. And it absolutely right. exacerbates and I'm not, overall I don't. Th harm. I actually don't think Destiny's really coming on after all. Well, no, I'm not. I wasn't even saying that there's Ten no seconds harm. Quick, because denims, we, only have, we only have 40 seconds left. So under the denims, you both get 20. All I was going to say is I'm not saying there's no harm in a white woman I don't think he's in this round, actually. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, if I a white right. woman says the N-word and it's caught on video like we've seen, I just think the, Good, the, the consequences should – fit the crime overall and i think that sometimes <laughs> there needs to be some some nuance there and we need to be like willing to look oh vosh it. won't be on uh, don't worry and vosh is I watching that vosh isn't it, vosh is, is overseeing Again, though, who I'm he will be fighting that there's no consequences not. to a white woman deliberately uh, the voting link yet. hasn't come yet well i just want to clarify yeah denims i don't think denims, okay yeah. Yeah. oh wait i, I yes, just wanted to also add on really quickly i think it was this one view voting we're like this is a common talking point of like, well, well one vote Links doesn't out? matter. Okay, there like, it is. Uh, well, if millions of people say that, then it uh, kind of does. The other things I wanted to say, I'll try and be as fast as possible. A, I think we should I'm make distinctions between this children's, time. children and adults. True. If a child does something, like they said the N-word in a group chat. Tyler's like 16, out. Oh, I that loser. That much, okay? Low energy. If you're 40 and you're loser. People the TikTok and ain't you're sending use it as a song, very good I people. A lot more. And I want to make a distinction between Tyler, people who did it once loser, and repeat offenders just like who Trump. continuously keep Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so uh, Get the we fuck have the out of here. Rare, and this is a first. Uh, it's a split vote between the judges on who should be voted out. And the two people who are up are Prime and Tyler. So I will read out the votes. The first That's vote racist. is from <laughs> the first vote is from Danabo to vote out Tyler. Ooh. The second vote is from Geek to vote out Prime. And the last one, which is a celebrity guest judge, which I will reveal at the end, voted out Prime. I'm sorry, oh, Prime. no! You have been voted out by the judges. Thanks so much, uh, uh, Dylan. Prime! For, uh, me, uh, on this. Really appreciate that. Um, nice to meet you, uh, James. Like, I'm actually a, I'm a big fan of uh, your work. I see a lot of it. Um, and nice to uh, talk to you all. No, it is. You. Apparently, um, though, I guess Prime they Pride. have the judges I, uh, decide between own, the last uh, two. I'm not 100% uh, uh, sure. Come visit me, P-R-I-M-E-C-A-Y-E-S. We have panels. We have discussions. We'll have an open panel. Uh, right after, well, not right after this, but uh, soon. Uh, we're going to have an open panel. So please come check us out. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going Damn. to... Damn. Uh, Damn. Okay, we're going to continue the topic on this one. We're going to just keep going on cancel culture. Uh yeah, so you can keep going. You're free to keep going. Well, now actually would probably be a good time for me to split. Um, because I've been on here for about an hour now and I gotta get going. Damn, you should have said that before we kicked out Prime. Oh, I didn't <laughs> I, I wanted to see Prime go. Wow. I mean I Hunter oh, Apple, when you're trying to come on the left and you throw a black man under the bus. I didn't, oh, I didn't yes. no. interesting. Mm -hmm. There's no harmful consequence. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck. Thanks. Thanks a lot for having me on, Dylan. Ooh, really appreciate it. Cringe. Nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting everybody. No problem. And nice oh to God. see you, Sean. Wait, does that mean I'm I, in? I like your uh, your bedroom in your mom's house. is very nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh my God. Nice Nice to see you too, buddy. Go make your sixtieth video about me. Jeez. What like the seven. fuck? Oh, seven. That's a lot better. Okay, yeah. Just, you know, oh my I know, god. I know rivalry, rivalry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I mean, tell me specifically before I show up not to add Hom Hunter, but let him do whatever he wants because that's the only way he would agree to be on. But whatever. I'm blown the fuck out, Sean. You mad? It's like, it's like salt. It's like salt in the air. Oh, little, little, we're gonna throw it. Man. We're gonna throw it over. To, uh, well, no, you guys that was go. amazing. Um, get the next person to join. Quick. Where's the cat guy? Um, one thing I wanted to bring up about cancel culture. There's also like. Hold on, um, am I in now? Am like, I supposed to be in soon? Let me see. So Hold on. Their boss will like find out, and like, that's one thing. I guess that I am. Be canceled and fired I'm up. over. All right, My, I'm going um, in. My biggest concern with cancel culture is literally it's basically right, going I'm to in. turn into a workers' rights issue. It's not it's really time, right everybody. Now, but it's absolutely going to turn into that, and I feel like that's. Here we go. Give me a second here. Give me a second, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. All right. One second. I'm just doing the fucking flipperoo. Here we go. We're going to hide this one. Knock, knock, knock.
Wait a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. People, uh, if they don't really mean harm, we're gonna we're gonna give them a chance to go through the little struggle session and and repent for their sins, and then we're gonna not destroy their lives as long as they show enough. Uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bazinga. As long as they show enough attrition. That's not the word, but you know what I mean. Sor uh, sorrow for what they've done. I'll be in, no, so I'm in this like, room. There is no cancel culture, or it's good. But if you are uh, repentant enough, we're gonna not destroy your lives. And then people like Jake and the other, the guy who left already, um, the uh, I forgot his name, the black dude. Uh, they're both saying that there should whoa, be. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Sorry, buddy. yeah, sorry. Crime kidding. or whatever his name is. They're both saying there should be punishments for these actions, but they're not telling us what the punishments would be. So Sean brought up the the uh, example of the woman uh, who called the cops on the bird watcher. And that dude said that, yeah, she should be punished in some way for doing that. I think it's really crazy to make a statement like that and not tell everybody exactly what you're thinking. How long should the struggle session be? Uh, how, how much is, you know, what, what is the punishment? What's the appropriate punishment for calling the police on somebody when you feel threatened? Okay, okay, that is one like, quick I'm thing, one quick thing. James, can you take over moderation? I desperately need to use the bathroom. Gladly. Okay. Thank you. If I can make a quick comment. This is like the most insane. I actually can't mirrored? believe how insane this straw man is about the left. There are literally <laughs> is three the text lefties mirrored? on here right now. Right now? And none of them said cancel culture is Tell me real. if it's mirrored there on there. There are lefties who think cancel culture is Is it real. mirrored there right are now? a lot of lefties I think and I people it. in general who think cancel culture doesn't Somebody check. rich Yes, it is mirrored or it's good. that's true. But cancel everyone here so far has been saying cancel culture definitely affects people. Also, the format of this panel, okay. like everyone only is has it like readable on Dylan's stream? To speak. Like apologies that maybe some of the guests haven't had the opportunity to be like, well, I determined is that it the readable on Dylan's stream? Should be precisely this. Like, Stop. Well, you have the no. opportunity right now. Why don't you tell us? What Let me get my be fucking for abacus out. Nigga, oh, sure, sure. Right? I mean, like the, the I, punishment for something like calling the cops on someone. I don't know. Should we have like fines for that? Wrongfully calling the cops on someone. I think that that's wrong. a that seems like a very I, mild. Yeah. Can, I I just, can, I, can I just say? Can I just say real quick? Don't, Jake, don't you, watch, filing a false police report. Like is don't break line, TOS, right bro. It has to be false. <laughs> yeah, you have to intend to intentionally file a false police report. Like it has to be malicious. If you're incorrect and you file a police report, do we prosecute people because they're incorrect about what they thought they saw? I think not. What, there wasn't anything oh, that she was incorrect about what she saw. She just called the cops because okay, thank you, she thank felt you, thank like you. someone was suspicious. Did Some people are telling Facebook me it's backwards. Post? Other the, people the are telling me it's not. Guy? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, he, said she, he said he was going to poison her dogs. Like, people love to leave that part of the story out. Okay. No, but he, he said that he was doing exactly what she called the police on him for. And then he told them to, he told that to the okay, police. So it's readable now? Like, I mean, that you're welcome to listen. It's now. towards him to teach her a lesson about walking her dog without a leash in the park Jesus the Christ he wasn't, that was not impossible wait, wait, but he wasn't like any man in her any does way. that to any Why woman we... especially a dog mom they're gonna get the cops called on them Jennings or Jake it looked like one of you wanted to say something well first of all am I, I supposed to be I in here yet sliding in n-words behind everyone else's voice and probably without breaking TOS is one of the do that Who cares be... if someone says nigga you people Whoa, are so you fucking can't can't we we do because we're, we're not going to let this get okay. side rail yeah. so we have to go back what I say he did it twice bro after Dylan asked, him, that's fucking weird. Anyway, that's actually a good pickup, Jake. I didn't even hear that. Yeah, he he slid it under under when you and Denim were talking. I didn't want to interrupt. Well, anyway, uh, as as far as that was so as, awkward. As, yeah, it was. It was really awkward. So as far as I think, I think I'm like the only black guy here, and it wasn't awkward for me. Yeah, but but it's just so just it's so you all know, no, it's sorry to talk up. I'm my, my stream. Pitch. Okay, let me be clear. He just asked us not to do that. Let me, like, let it's me be clear. My stream it's will be taken down if right. the word is oh, still understood. on my stream. Yeah, understood. Understood. So that's, that's why, that's why it's not good that. Yeah, that's why that. I said it was awkward because like. Sure. But why would not because weird there's someone saying say it when somebody else is talking, so it can be hidden behind them talking. Like, what kind of weird shit is that? Make sure you delete your vods. I didn't even hear it. I didn't even hear that shit. Make oh, sure you delete your Twitch really well on my end. I don't know. It picked up really well on my end. Yeah, I certainly. My whole chat blew up. My entire chat blew up. Um, but anyway, um. As far as the, the cancel culture thing, and it, just to answer the guy's question that's gone now, uh, 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 as I far as like, did. of course what, he did. What punitive damage ought we take towards someone who dare violate the social order 
That's not really what it's about. It's like Texas how, backwards on my screen, but not on Dylan's. It. So there. That's what it is. And I'm sorry you have to deal with be. the rest of us. That's just literally what it is. We'll I'm not it. saying there ha there's a specific sentence to be carried out. If you're a particularly egregious person, the rest of the people that witness that will consider you egregious and will will operate well, in that way. My it's people who like me can go uh, give me some behavior. boost up if in you can't VGG. Understand how to socialize with anybody else, and you're confused why saying slurs at make people, sure some people or, go spread or, some or love for the demon the mama over. Of BGG. a national race debate might get a little more heat than usual for weaponizing the cops against a bird watcher. You're tone for deaf and dumb and you deserve it. I genuinely don't understand how you don't like like understand the social cues of the situation. Now, as for should her life be ruined? Probably not. Is it ruined? Does she have a life? I don't know what she's got going on. Well, she but got like, fired but like again, job. you're going to overcorrect at the beginning of this because there was a there, there's massive amounts of, of of people that were in fact pretty Paul, voiceless in this conversation I, for years. Paul We've had race yet. riots for hundreds of years, and only really now are people being like actually heard. The fact that you're getting center left people to be like, you know what, maybe BLM, uh, maybe this entire afterwards. thing is don't worry, is like, lady. Come I'm on. actually learning about you, stuff, and I'm, I'm the way they're communicating is really good. Like. It's going to take a little bit of social change for this to, to, to reorganize itself. But I, I agree that the only way this is going to manifest negatively will be workers' rights. Um, but luckily, uh, you can protect workers through legislation, which seems to be happening right now. So, I mean, like, as far as social stuff, I don't think you should go to prison for saying that. If you, but, but like, I mean, you, you reap what you sow. If you're an asshole, you're an asshole. It, you can be that. That's totally fine. Free speech, definitely. But, I mean, like, it's also the rest of everybody else's free speech to be like, hey, fuck you, buddy. Yeah. yeah, so I reject your framing of weaponizing the cops. Again, if you're a woman and you're cornered in a park and you feel like they're going to take your dog, How do you get no, cornered matter, in a park? no matter the races, you're going to call the cops, especially if you're one of these cringe dog moms. Number one. Number quick, two. Quick question. Question. Wait, wait, wait. Quick question. I have a quick question. Number two. Wait, wait. Quick question. Real quick question. You mentioned earlier in the Tyler video cringe. like how, how black right. people are disproportionately killed only to their population, not to their crime. So I reject, again, your weaponization of the police nonsense and how this was a life in danger thing. They showed up. They talked to the guy. Everybody was fine. She ended up getting arrested and becoming a national news story. Ha have so, you ever been like, to Central Park? Know, like, have you ever been to Central Park? Adding in there. AJW, have you ever been to Central Park? That's where it happened, right? It was yeah, in Central I live Park. In New York City. Yeah, Central Park huh? is not exactly the most uh, secluded park in the world. This is the, the, your your constant framing of this as an incident where she was cornered. Just, oh, I'm sorry. Just have you been, just belies. Wait, excuse me. Sorry. Where are you which, from? Wait, are you are you asking me whether I've been to Central Park? Yes, many many times. Where are you from? I live in Seattle. What do you mean? Where I'm oh, from? Seattle. Okay. Yeah. So it, you know, was that supposed to be like a gotcha? At, like, like, is that what you're bringing? Or I've lived in New York for twenty yeah. something years. Yeah. I know. So I, I, like, I, I used to go to New York every every single year for Thanksgiving. It's a I've very never been, big park. I really love. Yeah. The it's a big movie park, Elf. yeah, but it's like, but it's not like super secluded. It's in the middle of a city. From in 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 Central Park, you can see lots of other people. Where are all the people in the video? Wait. There were, you, and I'm pretty sure that in the video you can see other people walking around, and it doesn't. And the idea that you're going to try and use that to stretch out this idea that like, oh, like, oh 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 she's been cornered by. when in the video she's call, literally like, saying oh the police are gonna the police are gonna side okay. with me. We know what was happening. Don't play dumb. You always do this shit. Conservatives always yeah, love to do this the shit. Police. They love to walk in and play because dumb. Like scared. oh it was because she was a dog mom, not because she's obviously playing upon racial stereotypes in order to try and make the police side with her and potentially harm this person. His life could have been ended. This happened right in the height of record civil rights protests, which are a response to unbelievably overwhelming violence against black people. And you're going to try and tell me it's because she was an overzealous dog mom? Get the fuck that out of here. Nobody I'm believes you. you. Nobody in this audience believes yeah. you. And you don't even believe you. Okay, give us a second. We gotta let, we gotta well, let you should have moral that. outrage, but he That's not moral outrage. The only the said. only morally He's outraging thing here is room. how fucking dishonest and stupid you are and how stupid you think the audience is oh, for go. thinking Name that you would be on, able to buy. On. Yes, I will. I will ad hom you. I, I will ad hom you. Emotion. I believe you deserve an ad hom when you think emotion. when you think that you can sell a racist narrative the to the audience that's all here watching. You're full of shit and you know it. And we all know it. And the audience knows it. Go read his Facebook post. Read a statement to the police. I want to make one quick distinction. I think if this had happened at night and she was for some reason in Central Park at like 10 p.m., which I think you're not even it supposed to be, morning. it was during daytime. I saw the video. I could I could understand calling the cops when there's some dude near you at night. 100. percent It's if it's daytime in Central Park, you're good. You're you're gonna be fine. 
almost it's certainly. It's early in the morning. Yeah. No, also, the, the idea that none of us, like sure. everyone here has seen this video, almost probably every person in the audience I've has seen the video. You it. cannot successfully, unless like you're trying to just convince some people who have like a, like a goldfish memory, you're not going to convince anyone that he was, that this guy was like cornering her. You're doing exactly What's, the same thing I've that always happens. Too, you're doing What's the, the exact same animal? thing what that is, conservatives I've always do, that conservatives always do. I know you're really, really frustrated. You don't have any arguments. You just want to talk over, but why don't you let me have a second? Give a second here. Okay. Yeah. So same rule as always. Two people talk at once. You don't get double. You get right. none of the information. Okay. So I'm going to give D-Mama 15 seconds. And I'm going to give Sean 15 seconds. Then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Excellent. As in rip, move on to somebody else who wants to talk. Team Mama, you got 15 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're doing the same thing that conservatives always do, which is they try to make out the, the, the black guy who is likely to be the victim of police brutality to be some scary monster. It is a, a, a stereotype as old as time, right out of the handbook of the KKK, and anybody who knows anything about history can see it for what it is. Okay, Sean, same amount of time. Yeah. I wasn't making him out to be a scary monster. I was acknowledging that he's an agent and what he wrote himself and what he told to the police. Did she freak out? 100%. But dog moms are incredibly cringe. Bringing up the clan is embarrassing. You should be embarrassed for doing that. Time. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to. No one buys this. Canada? Come on. No. Nope. Okay. Does anybody else want to talk on this topic? No. no. I mean, okay. I, I. Oh. Sorry, I was just trying. Oh, to did you want to say? Well, do you yeah, want I wanted to, to say one more there? thing. I think it's um, I think it's incredibly. I, it's funny that you should say it would be embarrassing to bring up the Klan when it's uh, the 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 Klan and other right wing groups have had a massive resurgence lately. I actually think it's really important that we bring up stuff like this. The Klan is a huge part of racial oppression in the history of the United States. Something that anybody with even a basic high school understanding of history would be able to recognize. I think it's preeminently relevant to how the police are weaponized against black people in America. And I know you know that. You just don't care. Yeah, more, more people went to my college as undergraduates than there are active members of the Klan. So obviously throughout history, if you want to ignore linear time and say like, oh, I can't tell the difference between the past and the what future. What does that have to do with anything? Just members, the, how many, that's fine. Wait, can you tell me real like quick? Today, the Klan is not a force. Yeah, real quick. Can you just tell me like, like how many people need to be involved in a group that does horrible racist crimes and kills people for it to be taken seriously? That was like the weakest There's argument I've, I think I've ever heard. Somebody. But again, I, I've come There's to expect just that from you. Now, the Klan was a huge problem when there were millions of members after birth of a nation. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You want it to come back? People like you are helping to make it possible for that sort of thing because you play defense yeah, for people being exactly, racist that's exactly what that's exactly what's happening you've diagnosed it perfectly thank you i know okay um seems like we finished up on this topic might as well move on to the next one okay so obviously with recent shootings uh, there's been a resurgence of uh, questions about gun control in this country do you think that there should be a push for more gun control legislation in this country or uh, should there be no more gun control? Look at him, he's crying. In fact, should there be less gun control legislation? Uh, I'll just throw it up in the air. Anybody who's willing to take it by the horns. There should be no gun control. I'm going to just say that. Oh, okay, that's but... hilarious. Um, can we have some serious opinions? Here, I'll bring in a serious <laughs> no, no, no. Does anyone what, with that, like, do, a do want to talk? For, do you want, do you want to attack the argument, buddy? Uh, yeah, I'm not yeah, your buddy, sure. by the way. Uh, I don't... We, can, we can all well, do that. Who here is, like, the most sure, anti- Gun. who's like who's like pro strong regulation taking away ar-15s and stuff start with that maybe i feel like we all sorry we're, we're everyone here leftists pro... yeah <laughs> yeah yeah uh, sorry, well, dude. Well, nothing will get gun control faster than a bunch of lgbtq members having yeah. guns dude True. like like as soon as soon as a bunch of minority groups start having guns you watch the republicans you yeah. watch them you see pride parades with ar-15s oh. guess what's gonna oh, fucking damn. happen guess what's you gonna fucking it. happen you're gonna be like oh you know what you know what we shouldn't do let these dirty leftist antifa have access to weapons <laughs> you know that's exactly what's gonna fucking happen i bet so go ahead go buy all your weapons because frankly i think you need them to protect yourself against the police at this point so go for it do it go ahead and buy Buy yourself buy buy yourself an AR-15 if you are a marginalized uh, or a member of a marginalized group. 
absolutely do it because the Republicans will turn fucking coat immediately and be like, we should, we should absolutely, okay, sensible gun control on terrorist leftists, <laughs> okay? And you're going to see Fox News, Sean Hannity's going to be like, well, I can own a gun, but if you have brown skin, you can't. And, and you know, shit like that is always going to happen. They're yep. going to be, Bro, all you do, all you do, all wait, you no, do wait. is overgeneralize. Wait, the but that's thing true, that though. Wait, that's, that's, that's historically oh, true. Just, 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 just assume things and what? just assume what people are going to do. You don't actually attack an argument. Bro, you are fucking cringe, bro. You are cringe. Wait, wait. All you do is overgeneralize. Sorry, was the argument your statement that said, I don't think there should be any gun control whatsoever? So, like, you would be yeah, okay then. So, wait, so wait, let me, I just want to be clear. Wait, 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 hold on a second. I want to be really clear here, real quick. Do you think that you should be able to take a otherwise helicopter mounted uh, machine gun, put that in the back of your truck and drive through town, literally melting buildings with uranium tipped bullets that are cutting through, blowing up school children before the police are able to stop you? Oh, wait, they can't because their APCs are going to get blown up by your giant machine gun. Like, is that the type of thing? Because when you say something what as the fuck stupid, are you talking about? You're talking as about like motherfucking stupid, you're as there should be. About, dude, oh, how, how bad of a fucking you, straw man is that? What, no one you said about actually You literally walked in here fucking, and said, I don't I believe said zero, in any gun what control. Is gun control? Hey, buddy, what is it? What hey, is gun control? Wait, gun control? Wait, gun control is what a is term that refers because, to a lot you're of- you're conflating that with, with just mowing down, like, buildings. Wait, wait so, not, hold on, let me ask you this. Do you believe <laughs> that you should be said. able- Do you believe that you should be able to put a, uh, like, buy an 18-wheeler and mount a, uh, a giant artillery cannon on the back- if you desire, do you believe that you should be able to, to do that? You should be able to have an 18 wheeler that you buy with your own money and put a giant cannon that could put easily a level a town on that fucker. Yeah. Maybe yep, let's just say cool. you don't actually level the town. Yeah. Do you okay. think you should be able to do no, that? No, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That okay. is the okay. dumbest thing I think I've question. ever heard. And this is exactly all, all why doing, this, is, this is no, literally, no, but come on. No, no, hold on a second. Wait, you have to actually let me talk. If you want me to attack that, let me explain. Shitty debaters. Let me explain. You can't actually attack the argument itself. So all you're saying is, oh, that's fucking stupid. Okay, yeah. well, listen. Have, have next time, next say. time you want to, really next important. next time you want people to go like, Dude, you are cringe. You well, are cringe. Uh, congratulations, really you've done nothing. If you want me to be able and to argue is, against that, all you've done, okay. all you've done, all you've done is say, okay. I don't okay, like okay. that. We we are we are putting a halt to this right now because we have a minute left and we have the straw poll out there. And so, if you want oh. your person to stay, you got to vote in the straw poll because we just had Basia join, vote, vote, vote. which means Basia, Basia. you're gonna watch is one of your compadres. Are thrown over at the top rope, okay? Oh, holy macaroni! First of all, uh, is the audio is through whereby as well, right? Yeah, no, it's only through whereby today. Good stuff. Yep. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to seeing it. Good to be here. Do you here think this after? Time. Do you think if you win tonight and get another shot at uh, at Voss, you'll you'll win this time in the rematch? Oh, we're going we're going right back to Coconut <laughs> Island, buddy. All right. Right back to Coconut <laughs> Island. Every time I talk to you, Thank you, you sound like if boat shoes were a person. That's because I am if boat shoes were a person. And I a fucking love you for boy, it, okay? All right, all right I It's absolutely it. beautiful. <laughs> okay, we have 30 seconds left for voting. Uh, go vote in the straw poll. Okay, so could Demon actually address, like, the issue? All, all is he going to say is just, that's fucking stupid. So, so what is he going to do? Are you not, uh, the, 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 okay. she, yeah. or just yeah. use their name, please. It's all good. Um, but, Ooh, but, for no, what? it's all good. It's all Demon good. Mama. Um, oh, let me just explain I didn't know that was a trans person. I just thought that was with long hair. I don't know. Okay, sure, sure. I don't really care. Um, here we go. I didn't go. even so, know she was trans. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Um, let's just let's just talk about this. What you're talking about is so absurd that I don't think that most people really need to to put an arg a, a formal argument. But if you'd like me to, I, I think hate to do it. I hate to okay, do so it. Wait, 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 wait. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. The, the, the time is up. The time okay. is up. We have sure. to actually cut a cut to it right now. Let me look at the DMs I've gotten from the judges. Save by that. Ooh, I this, I'm gonna get in. A, I'm gonna get in trouble. Come on after. Sean head. I'm sorry. You've been thrown over the top rope. Okay. All right. This is fun, guys. I hope to do this again one day. Bye. I, Bye -bye. I, I'm confused oh. how the voting works. Why, how wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let me be clear. I'm 100% are done. Confused. But then the judges look at the votes and they make their own evaluations. And that's based on, based on like bottom. <laughs> Basically, they look at who, the, who's on the bottom so, lower half and then they judge on their own judgments of it. It's like a judge. You know how boxing works? It isn't like how the audience votes. Like at the home. electoral college. The judges. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, this is like super so delegates. If you're bottom half, you, you get. Uh... You get put on a list and they look okay. at them and they decide. All right. Yes. All right. All right, very important. I started this by drinking coffee. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, you can you can all continue talking about gun control. So, Tyler, I'm, I'm interested. You said uh, no gun control? Yeah. 
Okay, I need okay. to know. Do you support the police? Like, are you a big like Blue Lives Matter guy, or do you are you like no, fuck I do the not police? Support, I do not support Blue Lives Matter. Are you a liber a libertarian then? Is that no, I, I, it's I'm, not a, I'm not a libertarian. No. Okay, so I need to understand what your political motivations are behind no uh, gun control. Liberty. Okay, so you're not a libertarian, but you are. Your main thing is liberty on that. Correct. Wait, sir, okay. do you vote? Okay. I did. did you did you want me to put an, an argument for this? I just I really I really I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bait this one time for the purpose of the audience, which is that um, if there is a huge problem with the idea of people being able to arm themselves in any way imaginable, if you like the idea of your child going out in the backyard and go and going and picking flowers and then they accidentally take one step over into your neighbor's property and they step on a landmine and your child is blown limb from limb because of people like Tyler Bluntman's policies, that is the world for you. You want to follow his view of the world. If you want to have your village bombarded by the local uh, Jeff Bezos, who's decided to weaponize an army of delivery drones to drop bombs um, and 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 or machine guns over the neighbor, that's the type of world you want to fight for. The idea that we would have a world with no gun control is absolutely absurd it's so absurd that it might as well be like well yes why don't we implement the ministry of magic in america it's the same level of, of stupid bullshit but i felt like i wanted to explain that secondly i do support gun rights but come on this is ridiculous you do not need to have people walking around with hand grenades landmines heavy machine guns sniper rifles all over the street to try and preserve some sense of liberty in fact that would ruin any concept of liberty that we have because you can't be free to live in a world where somebody who doesn't like you can buy a 50 caliber machine gun and shoot you from a mile away you cannot live freely in that world sorry tyler is it okay. out of curiosity as somebody who often defends gun rights on streams like this is it your position when you say no gun control do you just mean like don't ban assault rifles or do you mean like what basically demon mama has just said yeah, he said he wanted like a cannon. Your, no, no, because they, because, because, because Demon didn't actually, no. So, so for one, so when I'm talking about no gun control, I'm talking about there cannot be any type of government enforced gun control. That does not mean that I don't believe in some type of regulation, but it's not for the government to impose those things. Who when, would it, impose when it? Demon, yeah. When Demon is, who, well, wait, who would impose it? From, from what? Obtaining a, obtaining what? a Who would impose regulation if from not the government? What hmm. type of regulation? Any regulation, whatever regulation you're for, okay, any regulation so, that you're for, who enforces that? The individual? Okay, so if, you're talking, if you're talking about who would obtain, like, from obtaining a certain weapon? Who would, would like stop you from putting owners. machine gun turrets? Answer this question. Wait, hold on, no, no, no. This, wait, this, 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 I, stop, 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 stop. A private business owner whose only incentive is to gain capital is going to, out of the conscious, the, the good conscience of their heart, decide not to give someone fucking, like, like landmines, bazookas, Molotov cocktails. What, what, they have fucking money to make. Why would they not do that? We see this problem with capitalism all the time. The free market doesn't adjust for itself. It, it, it tries to so, minimize. So hold on, so hold on, it doesn't so hold on, involve ethics into its discussion at all. It involves only maximizing profit and maximizing capital. So hold on, so just be clear. Do you think okay, that okay, give, 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 give us a second. Give us a second. We gotta let this <laughs> move. Just, no, gotta let, sorry, just we gotta let Tyler respond. Just to be clear, just to be clear, you're saying that citizens shouldn't own like grenades? Or any type yes. of like explosive. What is the, is that yes. re not reasonable yes. for no, not that's to not have explosive devices? That's completely fucking devices. unreasonable. So hold on. So, so, hold on. Let, let him explode. We'll let him so explain. So hold on. So you understand that the government owns these things, right? Owns what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do, you grenades, yeah. do you understand that the government? Yeah, owns the government. Just to be clear, yeah, I, I oh, know so you that the government, government owns well, grenades. Okay, okay, okay. Real, real okay, quick, I'm, like, I'm okay, talking to Jake. Real quick. No, no, no. Give me a second. I'm trying to respond to Jake, man. I'm shutting it down. Okay. So, one person talks at a time now. I'm trying to respond. I know, I know. But now I'm going to I'm going to tell people when they can talk. That's the next five minutes, and then when order is restored, then we'll get back to the rumble. Tyler, you respond to people being concerned about the grenades. Yeah, so so my point that I'm making here is that the only way that you could say that you could really defend that people, that citizens should not have the uh, the ability to own like explosives and higher capacity uh, weapons or whatever, military grade, whatever you want to label it as, um, that, that would have to go against by saying that, okay, well, then the government would never inflict tyranny excuse me tyranny upon its citizens the government has already the government has already bombed its citizens right so so to to say that they wouldn't do things like this and to say that we could we how would we attack them how would we overthrow said government right if we don't have if we don't have these weapons it's going to make it increasingly more difficult to be able to overthrow a tyrannical government do you understand okay, that okay okay so 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 <laughs> you wouldn't be able to have a tyrannical government because everything would fall apart the immediately everything would fall apart the reason you can't have grenades 
I can't believe I'm explaining this to an adult human person, but I'm, I'm going to. The reason you can't have grenades is because they explode. They explode. We've had They're grenades explosives. before. We have had grenades before. Do you even know the history? They listen. Actually, they, could you tell me the history privately on grenades? They explode and Man, people on, Jake, don't deprive us of this massive destruction yeah, in an area. Throwing it in Let's hear about we, this. Yeah, okay, we okay, had, okay, we okay. had grenades so in the 1800s, buddy. We had warships, <laughs> right? We had every single thing that the military in the had. 1800s? Yes. We also had okay. fucking it horses. Is, Wait, it is true that there were really only like, a fucking okay. close one, one of the, okay, yeah. okay, so I, I don't doing? think anybody. Does that I don't think I don't think anybody understood me. Uh, does, okay, sorry, I forgot to ask me. Does anybody here have hearing problems of any sort? Raise your hand if you do. I have tinnitus, actually. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean. You know. Okay. But did you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to now choose who speaks. Jeez, we need so, privately owned hand grenades to deal with moderator Dylan here, you tyrant. Jeez. Okay, fuck. so Tyler just said that there were there were there were hand grenades in the in the 1800s. So I'm going to throw it over to whoever raises their hand, and I want to speak. Okay, Demon Mama hasn't got to speak in a while. Bastiat just got here, so I do think it should go to Bastiat, then Demon Mama, then Enems. There you go. Yeah. Okay. There's a, huge, there's a huge problem with this argument that like, oh, you need to have be able to have grenades to fight back against the government. You will not stand a chance against an organized mil military. It will not happen. No militia why? will ever do that. Why? You because it, it will not happen. It simply because, is not no, feasible. Why? No, no, no. Listen, Drone listen. Strikes. The state. Well, well, because well, they, they have fired. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm now going to mute everyone except for the person talking. You will not turn your you will not turn your mic back on. Thank you. Until I have I've, I've told you to do so, okay. So it's gonna be Demon Mama. Then this is directed at Tyler. So Tyler will be able to respond. Then it'll go through through the ringer as everybody like piles on. Sean, I saw you raise your hand. Don't worry, you'll get time to talk as well. Demon Mama, continue. Okay, so uh, anybody who knows even, again, once again, a small drop about of information about the military will know that the military's biggest strength comes from. A, extremely advanced, extremely expensive technology, which no individual person could do. Most billionaires cannot afford that. Secondly, from training. The military is a massive state organ with incredibly, incredibly well-trained people. No militia, no matter how well-trained, will ever stand a chance against the United States military. The fact of the matter is that there is no circumstance that we can think of in which the federal government would have, first of all, have any reason to attack its own citizens. And part of the reason for that is because we have have a robust democratic and check and power check system now the value of owning guns which i support by the way i am a pro-gun lefty the value of, of of owning guns comes in community local defense that's where it comes from not from this idiotic idea that you're going to be able you and your fucking friends in your pickup truck are going to be able to throw some grenades at, at a government agent no you are going to get owned you will be killed by drones that can literally pick you out while you're sitting on the toilet uh, just trying to go to the bathroom. They will kill you and nobody will even know. And it is ridiculous to think that you can do otherwise. It is literally in the realm of fantasy land. The reason we talk about gun control and gun ownership is because there is value that comes from communal gun ownership, whether it's from being being organized together to be able to defend in the case of, I don't know, a fucking local war, like p two towns start fighting each other or two gangs start fighting each other or a white nationalist group starts fighting a bunch of queer people or black people or whatever. Um, that is the value of gun ownership, not this fantasy idea of you and your buddies getting in your Blue Lives Matter painted truck and driving towards the Capitol where you will immediately be vaporized by technology you didn't even know existed. Because no one, not even billionaires, can can go against an organized militia, uh, military that is the most powerful military in the world. Just, it's ridiculous. It's hilarious and childish. Okay. Now it's going to be Tyler to respond to that. You can unmute yourself. Okay, there we go. All right, my bad. Just had to, had to unmute myself. Okay, so 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 this is hilarious. So so saying that we don't stand a chance against the military because citizens yes. don't have the weaponry needed to attack the military, while I'm saying, okay, well, let's give citizens and make sure that citizens do have access to no. this type of weaponry. But you're just like, ah, oh, no, nah. it's just fucking hilarious. Like you're not actually you uh, attacking listen. anything. 
Uh, you 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 aren't actually attacking anything. You're just saying, oh well, the, we cannot we cannot uh, outdo the government because the government has better weapons uh, than citizens. I'm like, okay, so then citizens should have these weapons, right? You're just like, ah, well, no. And then you're talking about what? Well, how many people are even in the military? You're talking about between two to four million people. If if the government all banded together, you're talking about inactive and active military. You're talking about police, everybody, even going against. I mean, you have what here in the United States, you have what is it like 110 million people between the ages of like 18 and like 60. Even if even if we went against the government today with being outgunned, I would still likely put it on us to win. But I think that there would be many more casualties that are that are neat, uh, that, that are unnecessary. So. So, yeah. So it's just fucking hilarious that you're just going to say that uh, we don't have the weapons needed to attack the government when I'm saying we should have the weapons. You're just like, nah. Can I respond to okay. that just real quick? So, I have a real quick response. Sadly, sadly not. Um, because the, the, the thing is, this for everybody's piling on a one person, right. so uh, it's it, a quick the, response. People are gonna pick. People are gonna pick it up after you. Don't worry. Fast yet, you're next. You are muted, boss. You can unmute yourself. Thanks. Um, so I admittedly, uh, Demon Mom, I don't really understand your point about community self defense. It just seems like a smaller version of what Tyler's discussing. I understand the idea of guns for self defense, but like like town and town violence, I don't get that. But no, maybe I'll explain we can that anytime that you'd like. Yeah. The point that Tyler, though, that you're making, I guess it it seems like when I think historically about, I guess, successful revolutions against tyrants, they typically have involved some factions of the existing military or the existing civil society sort of peeling off from that civil society and, and engaging some kind of insurrection, whether sure. it be, say, the Russian Revolution, where some of the troops, uh, you know, just, just refused to enforce the, the czar's laws or, you know, to think of a counter- Oh, you know, Tyler's got a ton example, of fans. Spanish a Civil War, where the military rose up against the government. Um, yeah, but, but typically, though, it's not just the Thank government you, acts in unison that. against the people or the people act in unison against the government. So that, that's one thing, I guess, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, this idea that there would ever be this kind of war where the government, you know, is just against the people. Um, yeah, sure. But the other that. thing is that I can talk about that. About Carter, 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 remind me afterwards. There's the vote. It seems like rather than thinking about some kind of uh, deterrence, uh, you know, with respect to weapons, you would want to be more active in participating in civil society, you know, in the democratic institutions that are on an everyday basis uh, help prevent us from getting to a situation Correct. where the government actually tyrannizes people. So, you know, I mean, suppose, you know, I guess what I mean here is instead of buying grenades or rocket launchers or private battleships, and, you know, it is interesting. There's a history of private battleships in this country, you know, letters of marquee during the Revolutionary War and stuff. But instead of that, you would maybe want to go like to your, you know, your local city commission planning board meeting and talk about why you should abolish single family zoning, you know, make housing more affordable, like so participate in government. Let me just finish this point. Participate okay. in democratic government rather than just kind of, I guess, withdraw and imagine that there's mm -hmm. like, you know, uh, imagine that, you know, if we buy enough grenades, they will never come for our freedom. But, well, no, but that's, that's, not the point that, that's not the point that I'm making. That's big bomb go making. boom. My, make, my, make my pee -pee big question hard. to you would be like, why can't I do both of those things at the same time? Well, I, I think the thing with certain types of weapons, I guess, as somebody who, you know, often argues against gun control, there's certain classes of weapons that inevitably lead to third party harms, even when properly used. Like, I guess that's the argument for why we don't have private nuclear weapons or private tanks. You know, if you fire a, you know, a tank, we do shell have, we do, uh, we do have private pri tanks. Well, why we shouldn't have privately owned tanks that have privately owned guns that privately. Well, I think, work I think that's also, shell. I think that's because also there are third party harms there. I can fire a gun at somebody in self defense, and there's no, there's not an inevitable third party harm, right? But if I use explosives, Right. You know, th that risk of third party harm is very great, right? So it right. goes beyond just me and the person who maybe is uh, attacking my property or attacking my person sure. or something, yeah. right? And, and so there, I think actual a justice clear, warrior is asleep. a case for some kinds He's of weapons out. that they just, their use inevitably comes with collateral damage or is Vote very likely me. to compared to say a handgun or an assault rifle, which these are deadly yeah. weapons, but they are less likely to be- Quick, to quick, quick yeah. for chat. I just want to make clear. In the straw poll, you are voting. Whoever wins this will be debating Vosh okay. next Friday. So be clear that the person you're voting for you want to see going head to head next Friday. I see a lot of people confused exactly about what the winner will get. So yeah. uh, next was uh, I think it was Denim's actual Jake, then Sean. Okay. Uh, but I think Tyler, did you want to respond to any of that? Yeah, just 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 a couple things there. So so for one, you bring you bring up the tank situation, which I think is a very interesting perspective. I mean, we have anywhere from a couple hundred to up to a thousand uh, privately owned citizens right now who have tanks, and it's not like you can't obtain uh, uh, shells for these tanks. You can absolutely obtain obtain these shells. And I mean, can you name one incident? Right, uh, one incident 
here in the United States where someone has taken this tank and just mowed uh, only on my down screen, Mars Blue. Blocks down. I think yeah. the only one that yeah. I think I think the Literally, only yes. I think the only one that you'll be able to come up with is only one on my where, screen. Uh, they didn't actually fire these these guns. What 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 instance are you going to bring up? Well, there was one where somebody stole a tank from a military base. Yes, but, right, they but they didn't. But they didn't. There were zero there was casualties. They kill dozer. Like, okay. One, one second. I had no idea though that we got to we got to move casualties. it on because we don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna have to extend this round a little bit yeah. because I want to make sure people. I don't want people to get voted off because they just didn't get a shot. So um, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Quick, I want to give it to Sean Denims, then Jake in that order. Sean. Okay. So um, two quick points. Like we never even got into like any reasonable like vote, gun vote, control vote, vote. legislation discussion and all that. And I oh, do you'll with find Tyler out problematist. I got some ideas. Is to fight back against a tyrannical government. But you don't need, like, armaments in order to do that. Like, I completely disagree with the U.S. military would crush the United States citizen. We have 300 mil million guns, and we've already shown through our misadventures in Iraq and Afghanistan that an insurgent force is not easily conquerable by the United States military. And these people don't have any—like, we destroyed the Iraqi military incredibly quickly, but it's the people with small arms that are organized in small groups that we cannot handle— also, that's on not, top of that, while so, individual no, billionaires not might correct. not have the sophisticated not armaments in order to fight, uh, in order the to US fight back against the government, n built uh, the military cities. contractors make up the bulk of our forces in our foreign in, uh, in our foreign adventures. So, private force is already, in some respects, not in all respects, comparable to the government. Now, the private military forces work for the United States government primarily, but we're going to find I, out I need to I need to say war, something on here. Oh my Afghanistan God. war, whenever that happens, what's going to happen to this new industry you, of private Appreciate force it. that we've created. So yeah, you can fight back against the federal government with the 300 million guns that are present in the United States of America. Like we can't conquer Iraq or Afghanistan. It's been no, proven. No, 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 no. So I like, I don't know what the, I don't know what the case is against that, but I'll let somebody else have the floor. I could argue against that when it it's Denim's. time. It was Denim's first, right? Yeah. Well, I'm waiting uh, for yeah. Denim's. So. It was Denim's and then actual check. Yeah. Okay. I'll be fast. Okay. First, I'm not going to respond to Sean because I was already going to respond to Tyler with some of the other stuff. For starters, I'm going to make two separate arguments. A, the average civilian is not going to even get close to the tech that the government has. There is no amount of money that the average of... The, the average civilian is never going to have the amount of money that they need to buy an entire SWAT teams, entire drone strikes, like fighter jets and shit. You just don't. And then the only people who might be able to afford this is billionaires. And you know what? Maybe I don't want a bunch of billionaires owning a fuck ton of fighter jets. Just an idea. Second of all, I would like the freedom to go to the supermarket and not worry that my entire the entire building is going to get bombed. Can you imagine? I'm sorry, the dude who was on the news like last or whatever, the dude who was at the salon, he killed eight people. Can you imagine if he had like bombs and shit on him and that was legal for him to have? Are you kidding me? Like, I'm sorry, we already have enough people dying, okay? I want, look, there is the freedom to own things in America, which I love. You know, I want to be able to own as many fucking whatever the fucks I, I want. But I also want the freedom to be able to go places in public and not worry that the buildings are going to start collapsing because yeah, you I know don't know it. who has you know a bomb it. on them. My numbers are great. I'm taking okay, this victory. Be act well, Tyler, you yeah. can respond to that, of course. Okay. Yeah, so, so for one, okay, so then I guess I would ask you, if most citizens aren't going to be able to have the funds to obtain these weapons, then what are you crying about? What are you crying about gun control about if you say that most people aren't even going to have because access to these some weapons? will. Hold on, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Denims. About a billionaires having a fuck ton of bombs. I don't want fucking billionaires who are not necessarily the uh, most uh, greatest. Yeah, I don't. People, I don't really. Okay? I don't really give a shit. I don't really give a shit. What, no, what does that matter? Hey, like, don't worry. Only your millionaire will kill you. Wait, 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 you just asked who could have them, and she I, answered. I don't, I don't really give a shit what you want. I oh, can't. Okay, like, okay, you have, do you have any data? Research. I'll ask you this. Do you have any data to back up that if billionaires had so uh, these these grenades or bombs that somehow people would be like more unsafe? Do you have like data That's to not back what this I'm up? Claiming. That's not even close to what okay, I'm so you're, so you're I'm just saying. Crying the people who force people to pee in bottles. I'm not sure I want those people to have. Okay, bombs. so you're just crying. Okay, so you're just crying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just, it just... sounds like you're not capable of recognizing okay. where people's positive freedoms come from. I promise you. Please look it up. It's really important. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, okay. So funny. It's gonna be when a woman says something. Your, your response is Karen. Like what the every time? Did, okay. Didn't you call me Jared, buddy? Uh, yes, Jared. I did. Okay. Um, what does Jared mean? 
uh, don't worry about it. Um, well, I'll explain it to you later. Uh, so as far as Sean's take on like, ah, look at the success stories of the the Mujahideen and the and the, and the brave soldiers of of, of 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 Vietnam and and it's like their countries were fucked for years because of our military industrial complex. You think that we would we want to live like, in a fucking cave, bro? Is that is that is that is that, is that like what you want insurgency? Like that's the idea here. Didn't but, North Vietnam win? What? No, no. Did, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, we, no, they we didn't, didn't win that one. Though. At what cost is the point, right? Right. Yeah, so, but we didn't win. Wait. Listen. No, 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 no. no I'm saying I'm not the military force. Not actually, that I want to bring up that Vietnam. This is quite on. interesting. It's still actually, like to, turn, to support Tyler's still, point. Yeah, it is still my turn. Countries would help, but it's still my turn. Jake, still my turn. Jake, it is your turn. Yes, Tucker. Thank you very much. Uh, well, you're gonna have to wait, okay, right. Your Honor. Uh, you, uh, so, so as far as as far as uh, uh, that shit, like, like you, you, there's there's this like fucking there's like this pipe dream that like, oh, we're gonna take up arms against the tyrannical government. Uh, you're not. You're gonna get fucking blown up immediately, and then people will be dissuaded immediately because of drone strikes. I'm sorry, they won the arms race long ago. And as far as the 1800s grenades, have you seen those things? They look like lawn darts. They don't have shrapnel in them. They just go gunpowder, and they made it like ceramic and shit. As far as as far as like the proliferation of guns and having billionaires being able to have fucking private militaries, how can you not see how that's bad? You don't want tyranny. How about not having hundreds of tyrants on the coasts and anywhere there is a billionaire just making fucking like 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 <laughs> i don't know what like like fucking Maybe. their own their Maybe own the little better. fiefdoms because they own all the weapons in the area and they they've somehow locked down the local water supply now like that's literally what's going to happen it's literally just tyranny but but you allow capitalism to to provide uh, uh, the the catalyst to create the the tyranny, rather than at least having some sort of government powers of separation here. Where's the Holy proof that that's shit. gonna happen? Okay, you mean the here, proof here. it's gonna happen? Literally the Dark Ages. By the way, what? There, there's a really huge gaping. A monopoly problem. of violence is how the Dark I, Ages were proliferated. I want to make, make sure that J Tyler has a time to respond. I see Sean. Sean, he, wasn't talking, to he was talking to Bess yet, I think. Oh, I mean, okay. Was... I should be able to respond. Is what I'm saying. Or Sean? Sorry. No, he was talking to Sean. I'm sorry, my bad. He was talking. Oh, to he was talking to Sean. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. It just seemed everybody was piling on Tyler. I, it's it's hard it to see both, but he's not Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Right. Yeah, Sean. That's why I jumped down. I went off some critical support for Tyler here. Um, well, my my point that I wanted to make in response is that I never said Iraq and Afghanistan is ideal. My point was this is an example of a small arms force fighting against the best trained, most well equipped military in the history of the world. Like we have not been able to conquer them. You brought up Vietnam. I don't know why. It totally Wait, hold on. What was the point? We I need to ask what you mean by conquering. Power against the Vietnamese as well. I need like, to... the whole point is if the government was tyrannical, could we bog down that tyrannical government in a never ending struggle where they'll eventually give up? Uh, the United States will give up on Afghanistan. Okay. That's what's going to happen. But will they give up uh, okay. on we, we, we got it. We got to cut it. We have already gone 10 minutes oh, over okay. oh, the this... actual vote time. Oh. So we have to, well, don't worry. You're going to have more time to talk about all this. Right, We're all just right, going to kick right. somebody off. <laughs> so you might actually not get more time to talk about this. Okay, so oh, you know I will. the judges have sent me their votes. Okay. That was arrogant. But that's okay. Uh, you all love okay. me. Okay. Okay. So the votes are in. And they're, again, a split vote. The first vote for somebody to be kicked is Sean. Fair. The second vote for somebody to be killed, kicked is Denims. And the third vote for somebody to be kicked is Denims. I'm very sorry, Denims. You've been voted off by the judges. Thank you so you much have... for having me, sir. I was no. happy to have you. Hey, you made it to the final uh, final six, though. True, true. <sighs> All All right. Right. Have a good one. I'm Denims, twitch.tv slash Denims. I stream at 6 a.m. PST every single day. And chair shot. Early. Gone. Okay. So now we're down to the final five. Now okay. there will be no more audience voting. Your votes now are worthless, like real <laughs> democracy. Now it will be cited only by the judges, which the audience is showing their appreciation for right now in chat. They're mad. They seemed very happy. They don't like that. They look very happy to me. You strip ah, them of their these, voice. Screw these plebs. I mean, I'm the electoral college. Anyway, is, can we pass water to them still? We don't need them. So now the, uh, we will continue to talk on gun control. You may continue. 
Okay. So, so oh, I, by the I way, guess... James, can you take over? I need to call somebody. It's really important. Okay. okay. Can, I, well, can I offer a little support to Tyler's position here since everybody's a dog pile? Go for it. I, I guess I think the I'll one thing I would say is you fucking would. Would. The, the <laughs> argument, <laughs> the only argument that Tyler's making that I have some sympathy for, because again, just to be clear, I think your prescription of for gun control here is ridiculous. The idea that we should have none of it and that the purpose should primarily be to fight the government. Yeah, the point, know, though, I think point. that's ridiculous. And the, the way to, to <laughs> preserve freedom is to participate in civil society actively rather than to rely on weapons. But if you your argument, though, the argument here that you could never win, I don't I don't think that's borne out really by by like real experience here. I mean, the combination of a heavily armed population plus the inevitable foreign support that would come to anybody, I suppose, trying to overthrow the American government. I mean, the chance is like greater, I think, than zero. Obviously, it would be bloody and brutal and miserable, but it certainly isn't well, like zero. I suppose and it's certainly like, again, I, I, while, again, Afghanistan, Iraq, Vietnam, Af Afghanistan, I think is a little different because I don't think it's actually so cut and dry that it's just over and we're just going to leave. People have been trying that one for a well, while. I mean, yet. The, the but Vietnam and Iraq, though, by contrast, I mean, Vietnam, we didn't win that one, and Iraq at, mixed at best in terms of America achieving its outcomes there. Well, I mean, so, but that was yeah, a pretty, I mean, I mean that was a pretty one sided. So, but so that was pretty one sided, though. Like, like, hold on a yeah. second. Wait, I want to respond to this. I've been wanting to respond to this for a minute. So, like, okay, so first of all, uh, there's, there's a couple of big problems with this. First of all, uh, we can talk about Iraq all day long. Uh, the casualties on the U.S. side were not very high, and the casualties on the Iraqi side were ridiculous. Did was, was it a smart move? No, of course not. There's a whole bunch of other reasons. But as far as the war goes, we pretty clearly won that one, unfortunately. Um, like, that was fucked. What would be the fortunate outcome there? Wait, the fortunate outcome would have not been to go to war at all. That would have okay, been— Okay, but yeah, yeah, okay, all right. In, okay. in what scenario? Uh, in the what Iraq war, Iraq? Uh, I think oh, yeah, that we can cool. all admit that, like, there were geopolitical issues that led to that not being a victory, not actually the military. We pretty much— crushed military okay. victory yeah, um sure. yeah like i don't like the idea of us picking bad wars but that's neither here nor there the fact of the matter is that uh there's a different problem in america which is that we're going against the government that built this country that can that control that can easily access all utilities we're talking about you would have to look at not a war where the u.s goes against an insurgent populace but a war in which a highly technically powerful uh power goes against its own people and i don't think we have a whole lot of precedent for that and i don't think it's going to go well especially when we know that every single consumer used product that we would use to like find our way around everything from google maps and all of this is has back doors that are literally designed specifically for the government the government will know everything and everywhere their technological advantage is ridiculous and of course on top of all of that you have the fact that there are problems of scale, which is no matter how big of a people's militia that you put together, you will never, ever, ever be able to run a nuclear carrier. That will not happen. The U.S. government has like 11, if I remember correctly, total. It's not going to happen. Like this is – I think that I recognize that there is there is an argument to be made for the power of insurgent por forces. But let's be real. Most of those are born out of desperate – of absolute desperation, and the results are not good. If you go look at countries where this happened, everywhere from Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, the, the cost was so great. And the reason why – it was able to, e it even unfolded that way, is because it was America saying, yeah, who cares? We can carpet bomb this place. And guess what? There's, the, the, the countries are economically devastated. So this, this idea that like there would even be anything left to win <clears throat> at the end is ridiculous. I agree with you, Bastiat, though, at the very end of the day, that we should not look to solve these problems by some inevitable war, but that we should instead participate in building a better society. Um, and yes, while I do think that uh, there are specific instances in which having an armed community can be very, very valuable, that's because I don't believe that there is ever going to be a situation, and I should hope so because it would be a horrible situation if it were to happen, where the federal government is at war with citizens in the United States because that would be a dreadful affair. I see what, what would you consider, what would you consider so, at war? What would I consider at war? Well, I mean... Yeah, what, what, what would you classify it like? Just there's, bombing there's, citizens, or what, what would you consider? There's a right lot of ways after, to go. That's... Uh, Tyler, I'll give Tyler a chance to give a quick rebuttal. 
And this new moderator is a freaking Chad. Holy moly. I've never seen this guy before. So, so yeah. So, Demon, what, what would you consider just like? What would I consider uh, a war? Like I mean, I don't war, know. I think that civil wars are a lot harder to determine. Um, I would say that uh, prolonged sieges, executions, killings, shootings on, an, on a, a daily basis would probably be, you know, considered a war. Um, but, again, I think the uh, – I think – the, yeah. the, the the standards for what it what classifies a civil war are probably uh, pretty complicated. It's not really my okay. area of expertise okay, so to determine my, a war. My, my thing is is that I think our fundamental disagreement is that I, from what it sounds like what, what you've just been saying over and over again, which is a lot of words, is just that nice. we are not going to win. I'm not trying to insult you. I mean, I've heard that one like words. literally a thousand so times. You're, you're, just, you're just saying that, hey, well, citizens, you're not going to win. So what's the point? Right. So my, my thing is that, well, no, even even if even if you're saying that, well, it's unlikely that we're going to win that that seems to be more of a reason that, OK, well, then we need to make sure that we have this level of weaponry. No. Right? So the, the government, Wrong. the government it's has just, already, just, the government no. has bombed its citizens. The government Wrong. goes against its citizens all the time. So, so to say, uh, I, I know you're not saying that they wouldn't, but if they are doing those things, it makes logical sense that we would need the weapons that we need to, to minimize the casualties on our side when we, uh, when it we exacerbates the casualties. Uh, let, let me ask you this. If, yeah, if second, you eventually, were to... just because Jake's been patiently waiting, so we'll give you a, maybe a really quick rebuttal, uh, yeah, even Mama. I'd and like then to respond. Yeah. Quick over to Jake. Um, so, so what what I'm talking about is that you there is there, it is a it is simply not going to happen that there, that you're going to win against the U.S. government. It will not happen. That it is not going to be you. a winning situation. Yes, I'm saying that because it it it's like saying that like well if we have a slightly bigger rifle we'll lose but with a bigger rifle no you have to prevent that from happening in the first place we can acknowledge this right like imagine if the sun was going to explode there's no way we could stop the sun from exploding right you would hope that there would be a way to avoid that ever happening in the first place the goal is that we should use the reason why we have society why we have governments why we organize as people is because we acknowledge the amount of ridiculous damage and pain that can come from ceaseless war we acknowledge that war is not good and that's why we build societies it's called civilization you don't run around in the woods <coughs> killing each other with rocks because of whoever has the biggest rock because we realize it's not a good way to live so what i'm saying is the answer is not hoping that you can uh, that you can raise enough money on your gofundme to fund a <laughs> nuclear submarine okay. but instead that you could say Maybe we should avoid ever getting to the place where I would need to try and go fund me a, a nuclear submarine so I can fight back against the United States government. I at least give Jake a, a quick one to kind of throw sure. his hat into the ring here, sure, Tyler. Sure. I promise we'll come right oh, yeah, to you no right problem, after. No problem. Okay. Uh, uh, wanted to push back a little bit at, at uh, Bastiat and also this is general, the general conversation, I guess. Um the idea that like like yeah maybe foreign countries like a China or something could see a civil unrest in the United States where the government is fighting with its people and you'd have this insurgency and then you'd have China uh, 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 join in and and disrupt the government that is not what what right wingers are talking about when when they want to overthrow a tyrannical government right they do not want someone else outside of our borders doing something within the borders that's a foreigner and that ain't good if you're a republican so that's that's what i'm saying even if they say they're allied forces eventually that would become the new tyranny and then they would just go on again and say we need more guns so the proliferation of this arms race that you can't win between a massive government and between individual people even if there's 300 million of us, at best, your argument is to escalate violence, escalate the ability for to kill people on a massive scale. Also, the 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 you know the catastrophic uh, ramifications of having anything that has third party interactions with it, like explosives, right? Any of that involves escalates the problem beyond what it was when you just were debating regular gun control you can for now in this country deal with it through societal change as well as through sometimes you need some forms of political violence sure like 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 a blm riot tipping over a car like 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 uh uh you know th these things happen race riots are things sometimes the tension gets to the point where it breaks and it, it needs to happen, but not to the point where you think you can actually overthrow or have not even overthrow, have a reasonable shot against anyone in 2021 as far as technology has gone. Yeah, maybe in the 1800s you could when ceramic bombs were things and flintlocks were, 
were, were normal and rifling was rare. But I mean, like, as soon as that happened, it changed war forever. It made everything catastrophic. The reason we have SEAL Team 6 is True. because you don't have fucking musket balls firing at people anymore. You have precision weapons. You have precision strikes. You're like, you are not SEAL Team 6, bro. You, you're you not going to be doing that. So, so this it's is, just not happening. What I want to do is, just to be fair, because we, we had heard from both Demon Mama and then actual Jake, and so... Tyler, if you have a quick one, I know Sean's had his hand up for a while okay. too. Yeah. So again, this this is just the same. It's the same argument. It, the argument is just well because we don't think that we're going to be able to overthrow the government because they have weapons that we don't have. Then we should further not have weapons that the government doesn't have. Like no, if, that, that the no, government not, has. That's not the like, it's it's so fucking it's it's so that is that's your not, argument. No, it that's isn't. Exactly You're not what listening. Your argument is. You're not listening. So hold on, so hold on. Did you not? Did you not just say that it's? It, so do you think that we could overthrow the government right now? No. No. But that's not why, the reason. Why, okay. Why can't we? But that's not the. So the reason. Uh, why? 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 There's like numerous differences, reasons. but that's not the. Okay. That's not the argument. It's not just technological okay, so, differences. It's organizational differences. Funding differences. It's right. Also, strategic that, differences. Yes, and guess what? This is the. This Absolutely. is what it boils down to. It boils down to. There's a trade off. The, the trade off. Wait. Hold on. Wait. The trade off. It's not even the fucking argument. Wait, dude. The trade off. Let's kick it over to Sean because Sean has been waiting a while. He can do this. I think I can explain this afterwards though. So there's this weird like thing where you're like, oh, the Iraqis and Afghanis, they took massive casualties. It's like, yeah, I mean, good thing that the American people have a numbers advantage. Like, obviously, it's a brutal no, war. Don't. Obviously, it's the last result. But like the idea of the United what? States has nuclear weapons, therefore they win. Sure. I mean, I <clears> guess. But like nuking your own tax base when you're a government entity is not the best case scenario for a victory. They don't have to. So yeah, an insurgent force is extremely problematic as is right now in the United States of America. To deny that is to deny reality. You have 150 million gun owners or some ridiculous number like that in the US. You have a 3 million man army. Like basic math, even with tactical superiority, weapons superiority, we've seen this before in Afghanistan, in Iraq. Obviously, Afghanistan and Iraq didn't beat back the U.S. and win, but the U.S. did not conquer them. That's the whole point. And unlike Afghanistan or Iraq, the United States government would have to fight amongst its own tax base that fuels the government. So, yeah, the idea that we can't mount a resistance against the federal government is absolutely ridiculous. You're not... You're you're probably going to get bogged down until the government goes bankrupt, sure. But but like that's the, yeah, of course. That's and like the end point of the argument, not the actual argument though. The United States military, and this is way off the point of gun control. Right. The actual <laughs> argument. I'm so, uh, uh, the actual argument is not that eventually we're going to lose the war against America, although that is true. The actual <laughs> argument is if you have gun pr proliferation or explosive pr pr proliferation. Fucking, fucking any, any, any form of increased munitions among a populace, it lowers the quality of life significantly due to increased third party violence experience. Like it, it is so brain dead. That's the argument. Not that eventually you're going to have tyranny. The only reason that it would rise to that occasion is because you created a fucking arms race. Well, and so, on so top so of Jake, that, wait, I, I this is a, without I have a even you, Jake, because. This is I, I without have a question even. For you. Wait, I want to explain the argument. Yeah, I, have the question, yeah, well, I, sorry, I, have same, I have the I have the same question for Demon as well. Sure. I, I have a question for, for both of you. Okay, so, so we, I wanna, we've gone, uh, we've gone we've gone very far off of this to to like because I said that I believe in zero gun control, but you didn't actually state like what level of gun control that both of you want. reasonable. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. We can all we can all deliberate what reasonable means, but you. So you don't know. You disagree. No, I actually I, I have a I actually have a detailed plan. But do we want to get bogged down in what my particular detailed yes, plan? Yes, I want to know what gun control would look well, like. I want to hear what yeah, has to say, and then we can if we want to, okay. we can dig into that. I don't all right. So I Absolutely. guess I, I just want to say I guess first of all a small point on the gun on the plausibility of uh, uh, of pushing back the government. I guess I would only say that, first of all, you know that these MAGA people love Russia and they love Putin. So they, they, they're happy to get some foreign support, I am sure, for one. Um, and the founders, I mean, they Initially, hated France. Yeah. They hated France, but then they made all kinds of deals with France. So, I mean, that, but the Thank real you, issue Bricks. here, I Appreciate guess, it. is that once again, Appreciate and this it, seems Bricks. to be a real big conservative debate tactic, uh, is that we started talking about gun control and then we immediately get sidetracked oh, anyone, the plausibility Demon of Lord. basically the right wing version of the revolution, which is to say this thing that is never going to happen that is used to suppress discussion about actually improving society in some plausible, possible way. And at the end of the day, 
if your position is that we need these weapons to fight the government, oh my God, Lonnie. you That's are awesome. making arguments that are so detached from reality, detached from anything that affects people in real life, that you may as well be talking, you may as well be uh, in, in the same, uh, you know, loony bin with those folks who say, look, we don't need to do anything about climate change. What we really need to do is overthrow capitalism, all right? And then we can think about climate change because there's no hope for doing it under capitalism. You're just making the same kind of nonsensical argument here. You're appealing to some ahistorical, ridiculous event that's never going to happen, and it's fun I'm, to talk confused. about. I enjoy memeing about it with everybody else here. But at the end of the day, if you want to have a serious discussion about gun control, and your point is we need these weapons to fight the most powerful government in the world, and that's how we're going to stop tyranny, it's ridiculous. And if that's the only argument you've got for it, I mean, we made a real, I, I think, me and Jake, I don't know what Jake's position is on guns, but I think the two of us made a pretty clear argument for what reasonable might mean, which is to say a reasonable likelihood of third yeah. party harms. And when you talk about a gun with a bullet that you can point at a person, and that's a conflict between two people, hey, maybe there's a really good and powerful liberty argument for that. And that's an argument I would be, be happy to make. On the other hand, when you're talking about explosives, all right, that destroy other people's property, you know, uh, that, that hit other people's lives, people who are not even involved in, in your dispute, well, that's something that I think there's a real clear, reasonable argument to say, look, in a society where we've acknowledged that we want a government, you're saying you're not a libertarian, you clearly, if you're not a libertarian, want to have some kind of government. The first and foremost purpose of the government is to be a monopoly of violence, right? Except in self-defense, we don't use violence in this society because we have a government, and that is the wrong, purpose of wrong, government. Wrong, and wrong, if you don't think that's the right, purpose of wrong, government, then you're either a wrong, libertarian in denial wrong, because you like wrong. that MAGA hat, or you're True. inconsistent this is, this beyond this isn't a This isn't a MAGA hat, buddy. It's a make abortion illegal again hat. So, oh, so it's all the same. It's nonsense not. It's not the same. I don't support Trump. So first, so, so okay. So all right. Yeah. Go. Yeah. So, so, I got a red arm band. That's because he not lost. A I don't support the NSAP guys. All right. It's very different. It's very different. I don't. I'm not I don't vote for Trump. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're, you're you're just making the same assumptions that like leftists make. So I don't support Trump. I'm not a Republican. I don't support the Republican Party, nor do I support the Democratic Party. Right. So that, that that's oh, first he's an, 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 an centrist. Well, look, so I, so I'm not a centrist either. I'm I'm an I'm an originalist. I'm an originalist. So it's even worse. So, so here we go. So when you're talking about things like bombs and, and grenades and, and <laughs> things like that, when you, when you have a regulation, because I would agree that uh, if somebody is walking around with a bomb or a grenade or something like that, it could maybe go off for, for whatever reason uh, and then harm innocent people, which is why I would be okay for a regulation against that. That doesn't actually go against the Second Amendment and your right to bear arms, right? But to say that you could not own a grenade in, in, in totality would absolutely go uh, against the Second Amendment. And no, my argument is not only just to overthrow a tyrannical government, while that is an important piece, and I agree with the founders on that my 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 central argument is that that is my right to do so it is not your fucking concern if i want to own any weapon that i want to own it's literally it, it, my concern it is literally right. absolutely. Okay, so hold on, so hold on, so hold on. can i, can I yes address this no? for a second let's like, go straight to the okay. logical conclusion here yeah, private yeah, nuclear yeah, weapons no, 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 hold on hold on of course i have to see that i reckon fucking insane okay wait 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 because you don't know how to argue because you don't know how to argue against it why insane argument that has ever been made on the hippie hippie why are you yelling? Okay, <laughs> you're both being muted because I was talking and I've just gotten back. I had to deal with something, uh, an aggravating uh, situation. Uh, oof, uh, I'll talk about it on a different stream, but it, it, somebody got somebody's flying over to visit me, and on the they got stopped by TSA on the halfway point, and their plane's can, already taken off. Taken off. Debate that. So we can debate that. We can debate why TSA sucks. Fuck Wonderful. TSA. There we go. Okay, so uh, we have talked for how long, James? I was gone. How long have this round gone on? Pretty good amount of time. Okay, then I, then I think it's time for to get the judge's opinion. Okay. I've gotten one vote. Gotten a second vote. And I've gotten a third vote. Are you guys curious what the votes are? Oh, yeah. Well, only Corn Boy. Okay, well then. Well, obviously. What okay. Are you doing? The first vote to kick is for Sean. The second vote to kick is for actual Jake. The third vote to kick Wait, was I saying something? Oh, the third vote to kick. I'm sorry, actually, Jake. You have to go. Oh, no. Who are those judges? Those fools. Danabo. Oh, you in here? You scared? Yeah. I'm kidding. 
<laughs> Danabo and Geek, you gotta bring it to them. I'm sorry. Wait, how do you not kick one Sean? Time. Not really good in that round. <laughs> the judges. Yeah, it's not my fault. You gotta blame the judges. Hey, hey, judges? Maybe get some have better quality judges, cause uh, gotta say, like go, 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 go complain to Geek. Go complain to Geek, okay? I'm definitely gonna do that. Okay. Uh, Twitch.tv uh, slash actual Jake. Twitch.tv slash actual Jake. Leftist corn politic. Chair shot. Okay. Now we're down to the final four. And look at this. Demon Mama, yes. Bastia, Sean, and Tyler Bluntman. What do you think of this of this crew, Jake? Uh, James, sorry, Jake. Indeed, You're I'm muted. very excited for this. You're very excited? So do you think we should continue this talk on gun control? Yeah. Can, can I say something to Tyler? I'm pretty dumb. I'm I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to go out on, if we're going to go out on this topic, I don't want to go out rude. Look, Tyler, I, I didn't mean to blow up there like a private nuclear weapon, but what gets me, why that's so frustrating to me is if you believe in liberty, all right, as it seems yeah. like you do, then presumably what you're most interested in is preventing third party harms. That is to say harms to people who don't consent to those harms, right? So if you engage in violence against sure. somebody else, you've can you've basically consented to violence against yourself in a sense. You thank know? you so if very you, much, Lawboy. But thank when you, you so much. when you're using weapons like say nuclear weapons, what thank you're you doing, so much, Law Boy. It, like, you're amazing. It's impossible to avoid that kind of harm. And that's why we'll at a certain next. weapon, or at a certain point, like that's why your argument just seems to be so irrational. It seems like you were clinging to consistency despite all well, reality I, I, am, I am consistent but but let me let me go ahead and, and, and address what, what you're saying so what is your uh if i could just have five minutes with bossy out right here just so we can have kind of like a quick conversation so so bossy out what is your main concern or i would ask you this at what level should we huh. limit uh guns or weapons in general like where would you stop it if there's a very likely third party harm right i think there's a very reasonable case for a limitation and so i'd start with and again i go to the nuclear weapon for the yeah. the point of starting i guess to to go with the principle right if sure. you set off a nuclear device anywhere in the world you have uh, uh created a not just the blast not just the heat yeah. right but you have also the radiation and the fallout and sure. that affects entire continents right there is Understood. no way to use the nuclear weapon without causing third-party harm to somebody so that therefore clear case okay. of we got to ban it you know, okay, and then okay, you go so, down from there with other types of weapons. Yep. And, okay. So let me let me ask, way, so, so let me let me go ahead and address this okay. real quick. So for someone again, so I I'm very Second Amendment, right? I'm very very uh, on that, right? But that does not mean that you could not have regulations that wouldn't uh, technically violate the Second Amendment. So when you're talking about like a nuclear weapon, if someone were to first of all, you'd have to have like ten billion dollars to even afford a, a real nuclear weapon anyway. But in order to have a nuclear weapon. Like you said, you could have radiation and it could affect third parties, and I absolutely agree with you, which is why if you were to be able to own a nuclear weapon under my moral framework, then you would need to have the mass amounts of land to where you'd have, have to have like 100 to 300 square miles. To where, so if that nuclear weapon happened to go off, it would only affect you and your property. What? You couldn't just have your next door neighbor that lives in a fucking townhome what? own a nuclear fucking weapon. Okay, right? so okay. there's so many problems with this. There's so, so many problems. So as with long this. as you had that, then that would then that would be fine. Yeah, I just okay. so, uh, can I can Tyler, I just I, I wanted to comment on this and then I'll stop Demon. I'll stop Demon. talking because I've been going Demon, for a while. Because I was I'll talking just about respond to this and yeah, then I'll stop and it's up to you. Okay, Demon okay. Mama, all right. Bastiat, Demon Mama, and then, then we'll go to Sean. All right. Look, right there is just an example of why this position makes no sense. All right. Even if you're saying you have to own enough land to be able to set off your nuclear weapon and cause no harm to somebody else. And again, that would mean you would have to own I I you know, again, if we're talking about fallout, which would be a real harm to the people who breathe it in, you know, that's cancer, square miles. right? That's the entire continental United States to avoid fallout. Yeah. If you watch, if you look at fallout no, patterns be like three, because you be find like nuclear like weapons fascinating, as I do, then yeah, fallout travels with the wind stream across continents, Water right? There's no, there's no avoiding that, all right? Yes. So it, it, the position there, again, I respect how, and I'm really trying to, to be as charitable as I can here with a position that is, as I've said, I think very defensively insane. But what you're trying to do here is you are clean to a, a logical consistency despite all reality to defend, I think, a position where I don't think you need to do that. I think you just need to say, uh, I, I think you just, I, I think you can can make that argument of what is a reasonable, right? What is a, uh, uh, what is a reasonable risk of third-party harms? And instead of saying, I need to consider everything, including the nuclear weapon, 
maybe we could start a little lower and you could make your case somewhere else and concede that the nuclear weapon, yeah, that's 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 always going to cause third party harms. If you're not willing to do that, then it seems like you are just sticking to ideology because you're, you desire consistency beyond any kind of rational real world consideration. And that just seems like nonsense. Oh, I mean, I don't even think it's that goes that far. I mean, Tyler has already walked back, like cowardly retreated from his position at the beginning. And now it's like, well, maybe, maybe there can be re regulation. Here's the problem. Even if you want to regulate and just, there could be and, and just say, uh, that's not what you sounded at at the beginning when I asked if you should be able to mount a well, giant you, artillery you, cannon on the understand. back. You didn't even you, you, let's just yes, be real. You're be, trying to weasel be out now because that. you've been it's there been There shouldn't shown. be regulation. So now you're just overgeneralizing regulation. No, no, you're just so if you're talking a coward about some type and you of can't own up to it. You can't own no, to just you, bro, just admit bro, that you backed off. Attacking my I'm, not your bro. You're, you're not even, I'm not your bro. I'm not your bro. You're not even strong. You're not even strong man. You're just committing like non sequiturs. No, you we, you're just you're hold, just giving hold, hold you're on just a second here. You're super triggered right now and it's really funny. I never made. Um it's it's just at the very yes, at the very beginning wait a second. Hold on a second. Chill down there, Snowflake. Yo Calm down. Calm oh, down. I'm the I know you're, buddy? you are super, super frustrated. It's actually hilarious. Yeah, you are. It's, right, 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 right. Yeah, the, the, the okay, smuggling is great. So, yeah, um, ahead, buddy. yeah. Um, so the at the very beginning of this conversation, I very clearly asked you, you think that somebody should be able to mount a giant cannon on the back of an 18-wheeler, and you said yes. Now you're like, well, actually, yep. they can't actually do that. Well, here's the problem. I never said that. You can do that. Okay. I'm talking about his there regulation on nuclear massive weapons. Massive problem. You are strawmanning the shit out of me. Do you know how to? Yo, do you know how to debate without using so, logical fallacies? You are fallacies? so hilariously you, triggered right now. You, you literally won't even let me talk. Using logical okay, fallacies. You literally okay, won't okay, even okay, let okay, your opponent talk. All you do is ad hoc, overgeneralize, and strawman. Shut it down. Shut. Shut it down. Sean wanted to talk earlier. Never Cringe. got to. Sean. Yeah. I never even got to say so, my position. Tyler, I got an interruption. Logically fallacious. You are a walking logical fallacy. Nice Please. try. Okay. We're going to bring it over to Sean, and then afterwards we'll bring oh. it back, hopefully, when there'll be a little yes. less interrupting. Sean. No, Tyler's position is essentially uh, governments are instituted among I'm men. Too we dangerous. can only give governments rights that we already have. Therefore, nuclear weapons. I don't agree with Silenced. it. I agree with Bastia. Like, this goes up into the atmosphere. It affects generations to come when you use this weapon. Obviously, that's way too far. But like to say that you can't have nuclear we uh, regulations on nuclear weapons is not the same thing as saying that you don't want regulations on guns. It was gun control that he was talking about earlier. And uh, nuclear weapon, the, we are so far removed from something using gunpowder to shoot a projectile into somebody when we're talking about that, that this conversation has become completely pointless like we're not even talking about legislation or anything like that and it's, you know it is what it is it's where the panel where goes naturally it? but yeah i do agree it's with fun. on that but i understand the philosophical framework in which tyler is operating under if government is instituted among men they should not be able to do things that we as individual citizens can't do that's the idea right I, okay. I just if, can I if can I is jumping in I the the what the point you just okay. made Sean one second one second I did, I did I do want to say your mama did never get to finish the point so oh, okay. let I'm sorry. finish the point then Tyler will respond okay. then we'll throw the bus cool okay so uh there there is a number of problems the government is always going to be able to do some things that the people cannot that is just a fact of any government unless you want to go like full on anarchy and talk about like uh, non governmental systems which is a whole different conversation that will always be the case the government will always be able to do some things now there is a problem with weapons that goes beyond just whether somebody can own something on their property. You see, because if you own something that can cause mass damage, and we don't even need to go all the way to nukes, I can talk about something like a canister of white phosphorus gas that if, if, if even accidentally discharged could kill and horribly, torturously kill a lot of people. And if somebody got real mad, even if it wasn't the owner, they grabbed that canister, rolled it into a school, suddenly you have a whole bunch of dead people and it's horrifying and disgusting now the reason that we uh we all know that it is possible for people to illegally acquire certain arms but every time you make that more difficult it becomes more and more likely that we will be able to stop someone from ever getting their hands on such weapons this is not a this is not like some sort of wild position it's just true even in countries that restrict gun ownership it becomes harder and harder for gun crimes to be done because it becomes more and more difficult to get a gun without tripping an alarm bell now 
I think that gun ownership is fine, largely because I think that guns can be reasonably controlled to a immediate conflict. Um, but we can recognize that many, many types of guns, such as mounted machine guns, uh, automatic automatic weapons, uh, super long range sniper rifles with explosive rounds, uh, uh, poison gas, biological agents. These are all things that um, under Tyler's system that he said here, people should be able to own, despite the fact that the moment you let one person own those, or reality, a lot of people who would buy them because of a novelty and all kinds of stuff, you suddenly have a bunch of weapons that could do a whole lot of damage, kill a whole lot of people standing around. And the likelihood that you will ever use those weapons against some tyrannical government is so low, and we're paying such a price. All it takes is one kid, you have a party over, your kids are, you know, your kids are having a party, your kid runs into the little, to, into the little display room where you have your uh, canister of nerve gas, and he's like, what's this, daddy? Instantly, party dead, all day in the blink of an eye and you want that type of world that's ridiculous this is so patently ridiculous and you don't even need to go to nukes to get to that position you could say this about a lot of things did you know it's a really common occurrence in america for toddlers to pick up guns and accidentally kill a relative as in this happens like a statistically significant amount of times that's with guns guns which we acknowledge don't have third high risk of third party damage if you think that it's like a fantasy that people are like having canisters of of fucking nerve gas around their house or, or white phosphorus around their house won't lead to horrific outcomes outcomes horrific death that you can't even imagine the agony on you're just living in a fantasy land but i mean what's new this entire conversation has been taking place in a fantasy land mostly of tyler's making let's be real okay um i'm gonna let uh bastiak go because i did say well, hold on, hold on. Would go. They, they were just talking to me shouldn't i be able to respond okay that's fair tyler Okay, so so a couple of things. So for one, bioweapons were were outlawed globally in like the seventies. So so there are no bioweapons. Second, uh, when you're discussing things like phosphorus what? gas or bombs uh, or anything that has some sort of kill radius outside of just like pinpointed accuracy, like a gun would have, uh, then having a regulation, I am fine with. Okay, so you're right? you're walking back your position. It, hold on, that's not walking it back. You don't understand the difference between going against the second. You're literally and walking back your position. Oh my god, bro, bro, bro. Just watch the, if watch the VOD, folks. If, if, the, if there is a regulation, uh, or, or if you have a bomb, watch the you VOD, folks. around with a bomb, right, that could go off, that could harm uh, more people than just the person that you are trying to, uh, like, if, if someone was robbing you and you had to shoot them, then I am absolutely okay with having a regulation that stops uh, walking around with bombs in public. That has nothing to do with obtaining these weapons and having them on my fucking property. Now, that being said, we just, if you had something I like just talked about gas, that. Did you not listen? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you have something that is like phosphorus gas, which is a chemical weapon, um, I would have to look at what is the range, uh, what's like the kill radius of phosphorus gas, and whatever that kill radius may be, then you would need to have either property uh, to where it can't exceed that. Now, if you can't have property, you're talking where, about gun uh, you control could, laws. If you, if you couldn't have property that could contain said weapon, then no, you should not be able or permitted to own it because you're going to kill other innocent people or, right. or likely to kill other innocent you're, people. You're, you're building so gun control fine. from the bottom up right now without realizing it because okay. you won't admit can you I, Can wrong. I be clear? Because people are telling me. It's not gun control. Um, Dima, is bro a, a a word you're fine with? Oh, I mean, not? I don't really appreciate it. Uh, I know what I know what. Okay. I mean, let's be real. We know what's going on with that. But uh, I would okay, prefer I just not. Know. I don't. I don't know. I'm I just gonna... don't know because some some people don't know about dude and bro because yeah. They are, they I mean, usually I, everybody. The way I tell people is that if I know you and I'm comfortable with you and you call me dude, that's fine. I don't like to be called bro because I'm not a bro and I'm certainly not this person's bro. Um, but uh, but yeah, I I know exactly. We all know what's what's going on there. But it's all right. I'm I'm fine about it. Just to, since you're asking i'll tell you what i actually feel about it what okay. is gun control what is gun control can i just be clear though can we just let's just go by everybody's names from now on is that cool with everybody sure Good. demon what, what is gun control that's demon mama but yes um gun control is a uh, set of regulations that the government puts on certain types of weapons which we categorize as a gun a gun is um usually a piece of uh, an alloy that we form into a thing that can fire a, a, a piece of ammunition out of the chamber. And uh, control is when we give a government authority to uh, make rules about how many of those you can own. Um, and okay. 
when we started this conversation, you were very gung ho about your position. Um, but there's two yeah. major problems. The first of which is that I've already, and you weren't listening, so I understand it can be a little hard to follow big ideas. But um, you, when you weren't listening, when and I talked about, when I talked about, to, it about I know. Hold on a second, calm down. When I talked about how uh, weapons, even stored on somebody's personal property, can be very, very dangerous. Uh, like biological weapons, which apparently you don't believe exist, which is hilarious. Um, but also uh, chemical weapons, globally. all kinds. Of, oh well, but you would be against that, wouldn't you? If anyway. the government, if the government yeah, has agreed, oh, if the government, oops, well, a little bit on, of an asking, inconsistency there, my me, dude. You're oh, asking me a question. Backpedal, Andy, you're again. Me a question. I'm not back. You're backpedaling so again. I'm you're so your desperate. Question. Bro, come on. Are you actually wait, trying to have you a wait, discussion? Hold on a second. You, 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 you wait a second. It was my turn. One second. It was my turn. Okay, okay, okay. It was my turn. He interrupted because he got mad because he got triggered. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm no. Okay. So he asked me a question. I, I can't I can't let this go on. I actually can't because the time I went off ten the time went off ten minutes ago. Aww. Right? So yeah, I've yeah, been letting this go on. And Bastiat was supposed to get a time to speak, and Bastiat hasn't got time to speak. So uh, just gotta show up with the Bastiat. I have to. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. If I don't, then nobody's gonna get time to speak. <clears throat> it's okay. hard to see the little hands. Yeah, my bad. So are you calling my hands little? Yeah, like Donald Trump little. Holy moly. Jeez Louise. I'm just trying to be I'm as not gonna lose the fucking audience. possible with these I'm insane good. takes. Trust me. You're going to tell it's me I got a fucking tiny I'm not losing hands? the audience. You know Jeez it. Louise. The audience loves me. Sad. Many such cases. Okay. Uh, look, uh, there are a couple things that, first of all, I don't get. First of all, Sean, what you said about governments um, and they shouldn't have powers that others have, like that, that doesn't make sense. That's the purpose of government is to give government the monopoly on violence. Like, Apparently they're still if, voting. If government couldn't have powers are we that, doing votes that again? otherwise people have, like government couldn't have any. Go ahead and vote, powers, everybody. Here you go. It would have no purpose. Apparently, there's like, a the vote. The purpose of government is to take Apparently on that a monopoly of violence so that it can enforce Apparently law. Apparently, there's a vote. Here you go. Install these governments, go, presumably, YouTube because chat. we think they are better than the alternative. I also happen to believe that they would exist irrespective of what we want anyway. Thank you so much. She who knows no name. I know. Yes, but either way, the at least uh, when we think about it, that's the purpose: is to establish a monopoly of violence and enforce law, not keep. to have this is key. Um, you know, not to have like this no greater right than, than we do. So yeah, uh, governments certainly have uh, powers voting. more than people. That's their that, more than the individual. That is indeed their purpose for being. Uh, as far as weapons, though, um, I I. I don't understand your point, Tyler, about property and how you are tying an amount of property to a weapon. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, we already talked about this a little bit with nuclear weapons. It seems yeah. very arbitrary, though, the way you're exercising. Oh, it, I think it's going to be that way. Think about other weapons, like say grenades or tanks, to tie this to a certain kind of well, property I, I, restriction. I, 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 Wait, let me finish this point, and then I'll, I'll yeah, let you go. But I want to get this all out. I don't understand uh, how you could ever make any kind of determination as to you having enough property to therefore be able to responsibly use a weapon. It also seems like a very strange way to limit certain people from having weapons. It seems like basically an income restriction tied to a type of weapon. And if we're talking about property and income restrictions, at a certain point, you might wonder whether this starts to tie down to guns. That's because you're in the wrong spot, something that I think Gotti. I have perhaps Idiot. Uh, said that has perhaps contributed to some of the, uh, uh, the muddy nature of this debate, which is this. I was talking about weapons with high risks of third-party harm. And while I think that's a neat way to differentiate explosives, at the end of the day, it is also quite true that guns, as they exist, have a high risk of third-party harm. Yes, they harms. do. And yes, it's not even do. very spooky guns, really. It's, it's not even assault rifles. Handguns are responsible for the overwhelming majority of deaths uh, related to guns in the United States. I've got a source here for anybody who's curious. It's massive. It's actually very surprising. In some states, it's almost all the gun deaths are handguns. Some states yeah. is a little different, but in any event, I mean, so it really, it does kind of muddy the gun debate a little bit, but uh, ultimately the, uh, the, uh, what, what you've said, Tyler um, and Sean, in terms of uh, gun control, it just, it seems like Demon Mama had a point that you were, uh, in particular, Tyler, seeking a sort of backhanded property restriction form of gun control that, you know, even for a neoliberal show like me, it's like a very strange way to uh, limit people to Thank certain you. types of weapons based on income. Yeah, okay, so let me respond to that. So I don't, I don't really, I don't really see how okay. that, that is. Well, he was at, so, he was talking. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. But after, after that, we have to, we have to go to. And I just want to make clear that uh, any. I will, look, I will concede look, if Sean needs to no, talk. I just want to be clear. I, yeah, I just want to be clear. I just want to be clear. You said he again. To who? Demon to Mama. me, Sean. To not, yeah, yeah. I Demon know. Mama earlier. No, earlier. I was, I was listening. I was told multiple times with chat. Oh. So I just want to be clear. I wasn't even, I wasn't even talking about Demon. No, earlier, earlier. No, I was, I was listening very closer. I just want to be very clear. 
any any more of that and and i'm and there's not much more i can i can do to like keep you on man i'm, I'm sorry but like okay well, well, here, here's, well I'm, I'm gonna be very clear with this so for for one uh, it is it is very it is going to be increasingly difficult for me to look at somebody who I believe and I understand that they don't believe that they are uh, that they are a, a male and for me to just immediately uh, turn this off and say oh, okay well my brain now recognizes to to refer to them as what they want to be called. Mm -hmm. Now that being said, I am not going out of my way to do this. If I am doing that, which I have tried multiple times just to say demon over and over so that I stay away from gender specific pronouns. But if something happens to slip by, then I'm sorry. Like either you could deal with it or you can kick me off. I don't really give a shit. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You can kick me. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Next uh, round. <laughs> Wonderful. Can I, can I respond to Bossy right quick? Sure. Yep. Next well, round. I was just stating the philosophical underpinnings that are related I didn't, to hey, what I didn't Tyler was saying. And to your point that government has a monopoly on force, but if you think about it philosophically, they have the right to protect property and life, which you as an individual do. So you're just granting that to the government well, because it's more in a, it's more efficient to do that. And yes, I know why you're doing this. On. Yes, you have the right happening. to defend your life from an attacker. Yeah. But you have the right to defend your property from sure. an attacker. We institute a government because it's way more convenient to have a central authority with a monopoly on force for a civilization mm -hmm. than to leave it to every individual to fight Trevor, it out because I mean. we have different skill levels in our combat and blah, blah, blah. So that's like the philo the philosophy that he was going with. I was just trying to express. Yeah, that. I get that. that position. I get that point, kind of. I guess the thing is, I would be hesitant to reduce everything to that. I suppose that's certainly the, at least one view of government, though. That it basically, well, yeah, that's a, that's actually a pretty good point. I wonder if I'd, I'd have to think about it for a minute, but I guess if you're saying that, it still feels like there are things that government does that are unique in the sense of. Um, the way that it can enforce law. Well, no, actually, because you could engage in self-defense of somebody else's, you know, as destiny has made the point many times, perhaps to his financial detriment, you can engage in defense of, of others, uh, uh, you know, uh, property and, and, uh, and, and person too. So actually, yeah. Okay. I see what you mean, Sean. I, that point makes sense. But that was like the philosophical under. Yeah. Under that, I see what you're saying that like that everything government does is basically defensive people or defensive property right. if you or if you that, if you work it back far enough okay yeah. all right i get that the reason i guess i like that's hard because i'm thinking about like pollution for example but ultimately yeah i suppose the alternative if we didn't have pollution laws would be everybody who gets pollution stains on their shirt would have a, a you know moral right to attack yeah, the they, people they emitting the pollution the yeah. so therefore yeah okay that's what you mean all right that makes sense Never mind. I, I mean understand. i do think I pollution has some that. interesting parallels to the entire gun control debate um which i'm really glad that we can actually talk about actual gun control and not uh whatever that was um because i do think there's some interesting discussions to be had as far as how far you go with gun control for example one set one thing that i actually do become concerned about is um though i believe in reasonable gun control i think there is meaning a meaningful risk at doing things like doing um, mental health checks um, and a lot of people that's the first thing they think of is oh yeah we should have a mental health check but keep in mind that what uh, 10 years ago uh, less than 10 years ago uh, anybody who is trans would have been considered definitively mentally ill which seems a little bad because some of the most yeah. responsible gun owners I've ever known are trans people um, and people who actually know about their guns and don't just sort of tote them around. It's, it's very weird that we would have a situation like that. So I do have actual concerns about certain aspects of gun control and how they can be weaponized against marginalized people. But it's always very hard to have that conversation. Um, uh, but yeah, like with, with regard to, I know earlier there was a question about what I would propose for um, like gun control rules. I think most of the uh, restrictions that we should have is um, that st is stuff like this. Um, all weapons should be um, should be sold alongside safety equipment. So if you're buying a weapon, you have to buy safety equipment with it. Um, and th the reason being is that safety equipment. We have a lot of evidence that shows that safety equipment, like gun locks, gun safes, etc., are um, are really effective at reducing accidental discharge, which is one of the ways that people die. Um, another thing that you can do is you can close uh, loopholes that allow people to get them under the table. You can um, you can close loopholes on selling independent um, uppers and lowers, I think. I can't remember which one it is that's restricted. Only one is restricted. So what tends to happen is that people will buy from third-party sellers a whole bunch of pieces of, a, of an automatic weapon 
that are legal in and of themselves, but they're not allowed to buy the upper. I think it is the upper is the part that you can't buy. Hmm. And then yeah. they will find a way to illegally on the down low obtain just the upper, which as it turns out is a lot easier to smuggle than an entire gun. But you can legally buy all of the other pieces, just not that one. But you don't need to tell anybody that you buy that piece. So stuff like that, putting restrictions on that would be pretty reasonable so that you could say, hey, maybe we shouldn't have lots of um, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm confused on what you're saying about buying the pieces to assemble an mm -hmm. automatic weapon, because yeah. if you modify a semi-automatic weapon right. and make it a, an automatic weapon, mm -hmm. all you have to do is inform the ATF. Like you don't have to, like, I think that depends like on the that's state. Not legal on uh, if I'm not mistaken, mm. I think that depends on the state because um, there are some states no, that no, have. It's a federal law. Is it a wait? Well, wait, 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 wait but states can, a... can states can put more restrictions on guns than True. yeah. So there are I, and I haven't like again I I I it's been a while since I've like brushed up on state by state gun legislation. I used to be really super into guns. Uh, haven't been for a few years just because of life circumstances, but um. There are some states that do allow you to modify weaponry. Um, I know that, like, of course, like Knob Creek, the uh, big gun festival is like one of the famous ones where people show off their modified ones. And you do have to notify, but there are also a lot of states that ban them outright. However, one of the things that, again, this loophole um, that I, I, I know this from personal experience. I, I used to do writing and a company that did this sort of stuff. Um hired me and uh, interestingly i conscientiously objected to keep writing for them because i thought it was very weird that they were essentially helping create a black market for um modified assault weapons or uh not assault weapons automatic weapons it's the wrong word um automatic weapons um in states where those are outlawed i don't really i never wanted to support that so yeah i i told my boss no i'm not going to write for that company but yeah that is quite interesting, actually. I did, I I'd heard about um, bump stocks, and I know that um, automatic weapons purchased before a certain, I think, 1986. There's some different rules with, okay. just like grandfathered in, like so many other kind of old laws provide for grandfathering. But uh, I didn't know about the modification kits, which seems like a strange and inconsistent loophole. I looked that up, and that does seem to be true. Yeah, so you can wow. you can find. Okay. There's all kinds of spun up SEO. So sites. I guess. So I I want to stop this here for a second, because we have passed the 11 hour. It's 11 p.m. And I want to make it clear that now this is the last about five minutes of the show. Okay. And you guys have, are the last three. Instead of doing it the way where like, hey, you know, the judges decide. How about we do a poll combined with judge voting so the judges can look at what the people said. I'm, I'm bending a little bit because I saw how much people just hated private judge votes. Get and ready to poll, everybody. This tell is the moment. People what you would debate Vosh about. Convince them why you should debate Vosh, why you should win to go debate him. I'm going to start with Bastiat. Oh, I don't know. If you want to hear more about sucking dicks and coconuts and do socialism round two, that'd be fun. Ultimately, um, while I think that, uh, you, you know, folks listening, uh, you know, all memes aside, um, you know, look, I totally understand wanting to, you know, get something new. Um, so, you know, I totally wouldn't hold it against somebody for that. Uh, what I would say is that if you enjoyed a little bit of what we did, and that wasn't really, that wasn't my best performance. It wasn't my favorite uh, job I've ever done. I would like to ask him a little bit more about what he really means by socialism, because the second half of the debate kind of seemed like he seemed to be, he seemed to me like kind of a social Democrat rather than a socialist. I'd like to press a little bit more on what it is that separates him from that, like where, where that socialism really comes into play and what that would look like. So I'd like to do that again a little better this time. With that being said, uh, at the same time, um, you know, uh, I totally understand wanting to see somebody new, but that's probably what I would do. I think a better version of uh, the first one. And, uh, you know, we could maybe do some foreign policy too. Thank I know you, that's Red something Uncle. that, uh, that uh, he had a, uh, a big debate about recently. Watch this. But I imagine that as somebody who is a little more pro-American intervention, pro-American Watch this, everybody. But, you know. Uh, we'd probably have some uh, some some bust up there. So that'd be my thought. Socialism, round two, and maybe talk about foreign policy too. So that's a thought. Okay. Do you know Yeah, I actually have a couple of options. The first one I would love to talk to Vosh about is veganism. Um, I would love to have a conversation with Vosh because Vosh and I have kind of similar positions, but with a couple of core differences. And I have a really interesting conversation I'd love to have with Vosh about veganism. Secondly, is about neo-pronouns. Uh, people have a whole lot of opinions about neo-pronouns these days. And uh, sometimes I've noticed that uh, Vosh does downplay uh, the value and the importance of respecting neo-pronouns. I would love to have that conversation. And third, 
gun control. Because lately, I've been noticing that Vosh has been a little back and forth on what his position on gun control is. And I think we could actually have a super good conversation as somebody who grew up embedded in gun cult culture, was literally a junior NRA member when I was younger, grew up around guns, fired guns all the time for recreation, often in not very safe ways, I will say, when I was younger. But uh, I know a lot about guns, been around guns a lot, and I would love to be able to challenge Vosh on some of his positions on gun control. Okay, and Sean? Uh, yeah, so I've already debated Vosh, and I didn't know that was the prize, I'll put in quotes, for, for doing this. I just came on because I was invited like a couple hours ago, like started yesterday. Wah, um, wah. But I mean, if you want me to debate him on something, I like my strengths are in the individual criminal cases that catch a lot of headlines. You want to do Kyle Rittenhouse, it's not going to end well for him based on what I've seen or anything like that. If you're interested in seeing vote, another vote, debate between vote. me and him, for those of you who saw the first one, uh, that's up to you. But yeah, I was just here because it was fun and I was invited. So, you know. There you go. I'll now stay the on topic, though. What's that? I guess. The poll is in chat. Oh. You guys can vote. Let's see who wins it. So, what did you guys think of the first ever Hippy Dippy Rumble? I, I wasn't here for the first one. I actually wish um, I could have talked to Shu on Head because she has blocked me on Twitter.com and that makes it very hard. Uh, for me to operate on twitter.com because so many people uh, retweet and like her stuff and I can't see it. So I really wish I could have got a chance to talk with Shu on head and ask about that. But that being said, uh, this was pretty fun. I know I missed the first half of it, but I just want to say thanks for the invite, Dean Lama. It was always good to talk with you. Um, and uh, Sean, I don't think we've ever talked before, but I hope we can do it again sometime. No, and, uh, uh, you know, it'd be fun. So. And James, again, freaking, uh, uh, freaking Chad Myrie over here. You know, I mean, not to keep uh, uh, kissing ass here, but I just, I, <laughs> I've oh, I, I seen, really never enjoyed seen it. Work before, uh, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, again, not the first yeah. time I've had a, a weaselly, spineless, cowardly uh, conservative um, try and and do subtle, you know, misgendery, disrespectful stuff. You know, it's very obvious. I think they think they're being really sneaky and, and whatnot. Uh, I do appreciate you coming down on that. I will say that, again, I've done this a million times. It happens in nearly every conversation I have with conservatives. They really, really don't like trans people these days. Um, in fact, many conservative channels are dumping those out. So be aware of that. Uh, I do appreciate people being willing to call that out. Um, although, for the record, I did not have any say in this person being removed. Um, but I do think that if I'm completely honest, that type of behavior does make a toxic environment. It's pretty terrible. Um, so, but other than that, I mean, it's been really fun. This has been one of the spiciest panels I think I've ever been on in my entire life. I mean, God, this was a hell of a ride. And uh, I don't know, it makes me very excited for the future of the hippy dippy rumbles. Yeah, Dylan, seriously, you must have done a lot of work getting this going. I mean, you had so many big names and, and just interesting um, people. So. Yeah. I, how, long I did you take to, how long did it take to I started, I, I started working on the concept about six months ago, and I started the official organizing about two months ago. Thank right you, on, Chance on Air. Congrats. I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate yeah. that a lot. They asked me yesterday. I had fun. I enjoyed it. Um, in what did I tell I you? I could have popped in like an hour late. Um, I've been here the whole three hours. I'm tired. I'm cranky, and I want to eat something. So there's that. Um, but if you follow me on Twitter, though, I'm at I am Sean 90. I'll follow anybody back on the panel that I've never heard of before uh, because it would be interesting to follow you. But you probably won't like my content because I am a more right leaning YouTuber. So I understand that. But everybody, I try to be cordial, you know, you fight back a little bit. Thank you very much, Ken attacked, I'm very proud of this not one. Not go with, with the low blows as much as possible. And I enjoyed it. So that's how I felt about it. Okay. Let me check the results. It seems that the people have voted for Demon Mama over Bastia and Sean. Now let's go see if the judges agree after looking at that data. Okay. It seems. So I'm just waiting for the last person to send the vote. Oh, okay. I, I thought this was a dramatic pause. Very, yeah. Congrats on winning the poll, Demon Mama. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. It was great. Uh, it was ar great arguing alongside you. Okay. And the winner of the first ever Hippy Dippy Roundtable um, Royal Rumble is Demon Mama. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you all so much for voting for me. I, uh, 
I I I did I did my work. I did my homework. I did my fucking exercises. Coming in with the demon energy. Thank you so much. And uh, am I allowed to am I allowed to to plug in in victory? Of course you are. Yes. Please. Please join my Discord, discord.gg forward slash demon mama. That's the best way to get up with my notifications when I'm going live and doing cool stuff, which is a lot these days. We just began season two with our amazing backdrop. And you can also find all of my social links if you were really thrilled by my performance. You can come hang out with us at demonmama.com forward slash live. We have a giant chat there. You can uh, usually stream on YouTube, but now I'm doing dual streams, which is super fun. Um, and yeah, we would love to have you. We have an absolutely incredible Discord community, and I stream long, powerful streams about politics and life. So thank you all very much. It was an honor competing with all of you. Wonderful. And you will be facing Vosh next Friday for the championship. I'm ready. I also want to take a moment to thank all of you uh, degenerate late voters who just put me over the top after the vote stopped. Thanks for that. Like many left-leaning liberal type people, you couldn't get out of bed to vote in time. So, hey, thank you so much for that. I'm just kidding. That was pretty fun. Though. That was good. I appreciate you all tuning in to tonight's show, and I appreciate you guys all sticking in for the long haul. I know this is a very, very, very long show, but I really do appreciate it, everybody. <laughs> I want to take a chance to quick say, folks, we are super thrilled to collaborate with Dylan Burns. Dylan is linked in the description as well as all of the guests. So I want you, if you want to hear more folks, please do check out those links of all of the guests, including Dylan. And that way you can hear more. And that includes if you're listening to the podcast, as we also put guest links in the podcast description now too. So thanks so much to Dylan and the guests. It's been a true pleasure tonight. It's been really fun. Wonderful. And I think everybody can agree. Congratulations, Demon Mama, on winning the first Hippy Dippy Royal Rumble. Indeed, uh, uh, that was that was quite a quite a uh, quite a matchup of people. So yeah, enjoy thank you, your victory, thank and, you. Uh, good luck in the debate. Absolutely. If any awesome. of you, um, if any of you want to qu ask me questions or argue with me, I always do Q and A afterwards. So feel free to come by my stream if you want to debate. Great. With me and I uh, also want to say you can find modern day debates on YouTube, uh, spelled exactly how I said it. I'd really appreciate it if you give them a look out too, because they helped me get a lot of guests last second, like Sean, for example. Sean, anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, find me on YouTube, Actual Justice Warrior, on Twitter as at I am Sean ninety, uh, spelled the old-fashioned Irish way. Thank you guys for having me on, uh, Dylan and James, a collaborative effort and all that. I really enjoyed it. Okay, you all have a blessed day. Uh, even though Sean, thank you for coming on. Even if you kind of steamrolled the skeleton the whole time, never giving me a single time to talk, that was pretty, yeah. pretty wrong. Um, anyway, thank you all. I'm gonna send you over to a certain somebody who's here, who, I mean, you know, kind of deserves it. You all have a blessed day. Take care. Bye Take care. Now. Take care.